I'm too excited. Oh, I need to change the title a bit. I need to change the title. Because we four hours. Waiting on my viewers to get in here. There we go. I like that title better. I like that title better. Bam! Dollar Silver. I knew you were going to be first. What up, brother? Dollar Silver, the first one in here. And the first one to hit the like button. Yeah. We is in here, big baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I forgot to turn Twitch off because Twitch be twitching sometimes. We don't want an incident like yesterday. I'm about to turn the monetization off too because I'll turn it back on after the live stream. <clears throat> I don't want no freaking ads to disrupt the freaking live stream like yesterday. What up, people? Come on in. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the four-hour live stream. We're going to be watching some clips that we've probably already seen before. Shout out to Sir Spooks. Make sure y'all go check out his channel. He's a legend. Shout out to Sir Spooks for putting together some of the scariest clips, paranormal video of 2023. If it's four hours of good, scary content, Regardless of whether I've seen it before, I'm still going to be jumping out of my chair because that's, if I'm, look, if I'm scared, I'm scared, you know, because stuff happens, you know, sometimes I jump, sometimes I fly, but either way it goes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We is here. We got, we about to be here till midnight, too. Ooh, past midnight because it's already 645 and we doing this four hours. Shit, we about to be here till 1 a.m. Woo. I'm getting sleepy just thinking about it. But hey, I told y'all, if I could make it happen today, I was going to make it happen because I'm going out of town tomorrow. Let me make sure I'm supposed to be doing this live stream right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me check. Regardless, I'm doing it. But let me just double chip or check, you know, because some things could happen. Oh, I need to put this phone on charge. It's about to die. Wait, I'm checking the wrong place. I'm about to pull up. This charger. The freak of nature. Okay, yeah, we're good. We are good in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Then got some juice. A mafia. We're about to hit that magical number. Then I'm going to do my intro. We're going to get this party rocking and rolling. But in the meantime, in between time... I got to do some shout outs because my people's up in here. Dollar Silver yet again. The first one up in here. Brown and Press. Christine. Claire. How you doing? Sunrise made it in here early today. Camille. I see you up in here. Psycho Neutral. What's good with you? Sabrina. Linda. Lachelle. Papa. Miss Panda. Is that Matthew? What's up, Matthew? Yeah. Andrea. I see you up in here. Daniel. Libby. Hunted Expeditions. Mark. Yum, yum, bubble gum. My usual is gold millions. Yeah. Renee, Taz, Katie, Omar. Out of love. What's good? Tara Lynn. What's good with you? We in here, baby. Joy, I see you up in here. Hold on. I got to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a couple more shout outs before we get this thing rocking and rolling, man. Shout out my, my channel members and moderators. Another thing I want to do real quick is I want to shout out the people who caught merch after the live stream ended yesterday. Shout out to Jessica. Shout out to Maxine. Maxine got six plushies, y'all. Maxine got six plushies. I was like, God. <laughs> I had to go buy a special box to fit all them plushies in. Alexis, Nadine, shout out to you. Destiny, Tish, oh, no, wait. Tichelle. Ooh, I, I love that name. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. I'm going to autograph those pillows for y'all, those plushies. Um, just the potato 99s. I couldn't figure out what a 
put put an autograph on the um the big face ones. I tried to put it on the beard, but no marker would take. It would the, the black would just so rich in color it would absorb every color so you couldn't see anything. So I was only autographing the uh, the potato ninety nine ones. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do another shout out at the end of the live stream, you guys, for everybody that's copping some plushies during the live stream because they're here. <laughs> They're here. I got to take more pictures of them. I want to take... <laughs> I still, I'm still tripping on the fact that y'all had me get these things, man. Y'all are some fools. Let me, let me zoom in real quick so y'all can see how big it is for those of y'all that didn't see. Yeah, here go the plushies. They're on the website right now. <laughs> you get the combo pack. Get you two of them. Get both of them for the discount. But yeah, they're here. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are funny, I swear. All right, we're about to get this show rocking and rolling. But before we do, what up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another four-hour live stream. We about to be here to 1 a.m., y'all. Just get, just get ready. Go. I wouldn't. I would say drink coffee, but don't do that because you're gonna be up all night. So just, just um, I'm gonna need some coffee, but I can't. I can't. I'm not doing it. I can't even drink it. Um, where was I? Yeah. All right, we're about to get this show rocking and rolling. It's going to be one video this evening, y'all. Search Spooks with a three-hour and 45-minute long video. Yeah, he, he he did it that long. That's, it's crazy. I know. But, yeah, let's go. Why did it stop? Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at the top 100 scariest videos that I featured on my channel this year. So, without further ado, let's begin. Top 100. A video posted on January 25th, 2021, by the YouTube channel Haunting Jersey, starts off normal enough as we watch a young girl playing around with her pet kitty, simply enjoying the day. It's a cute video as we watch the adorable animal being pet and showed some love. But unfortunately, this wholesome video is about to take a seriously dark turn in just a moment. Let's watch. Ain't nobody under that table. Look at that. Oh, what if, what if somebody was pulling that chair out with a string, though? God, we can't see. The, the camera quality isn't that great. It's not quite Potato 99. It's not quite that, but, you know, maybe Potato 2009. Out of nowhere, one of the dining chairs is pushed backwards, seemingly by nothing. The young girl is absolutely shocked at seeing this and can only stare at the chair in complete bewilderment. However, when the chair is pushed back even further, the girl proceeds to pick the kitty up and hurry out of there as fast as she possibly can before the video ends abruptly afterwards. To this day, it is still unknown what happened here. Was this some sort of ghost playing around with this family? If so, why? Or was it a hoax? It seems like we may never get a concrete answer. Bro, why they got <clears throat> why they got three laptops going at the same time? Dana, shout out to you. Dana says I'm her favorite YouTuber. Thank you, baby. Love you. Heather Buffalo with a five dollar don't know, big baby. Why they got three laptops going at the same time? <laughs> See, a ain't nobody on them. That's crazy. For the first couple of seconds of this video, posted by this TikTok user on November 21st, 2022, we get to see some genuinely beautiful shots of the woods where the uploader is filming. Beautiful. However, this seemingly relaxing and gorgeous video soon takes a sinister turn. Take a look. What happened? I could have sworn I seen somebody run through these woods just now. I live in a country. Not too many people know about this back here. But I'm telling you, I could have sworn I saw somebody. Oh my goodness. Hey, Zach. Sick your dog on. I could have sworn. See, Zach, there is yeah. some there is a man over there. 
Ooh. I'm not even playing. You need to go check it out. There is somebody over there. Dang, just send your man out into danger, huh? <laughs> That's what the man supposed to do, protect though, right? The sit the sick him out there. Look, this man don't need he ain't even questioning it. He's like, oh, I guess I'm a man. I'm supposed to go do what men do. And yeah, I'm about to go out here. Don't even know what she's talking about. Could be danger, but hey, I'm supposed to protect her. I'll go check. Hide about our tree. Right now, I'm not even... Be careful. I just... See Send the dog. I'm him over there by that tree, Zach. Zach, be careful. I'm not even playing. Zach, he's right there. Hope he got a weapon. But I'm telling you, I could have sworn I saw somebody... Oh my goodness. Hey, Zach. Hey, hey, if it was me, I'd be like, I'm not going over there like that. What you see? Let me see first. Let me let me examine the potential threat before I just go right into the, no. See, Zach, there is, some, there is a man over there. I'm not even playing. Deborah, Deborah done gifted 10 channel memberships, big member. And one of the trees far off in the distance, which causes the uploader to be freaked out and you really can't blame her. She asks her significant other to go investigate, but the video cuts off before we can get an answer as to who or what is hiding behind that tree. Who was hiding behind the tree? And perhaps an even better question, why were they hiding behind the tree? Did what, what up, Lori, channel member of 10 months? We in here, baby, welcome to the live. This woman have a stalker. Anything is possible. In Alexis, great idea. That's your job now, now play. <laughs> Imagine you're just working in a basement, minding your own business, when suddenly something incredibly strange happens, causing you to question what it is that you just saw. That's exactly what happened to this particular guy one day. Posted to TikTok by a user named Johannes, he's... Uh, uh, um, Y'all, um, Alexis had a great idea. She says, this is the new year. Have somebody keep up with all my jump scares. For the compilation at the end of the year or the mid-year compilation um that is a really good idea there is a way of doing it but y'all see stuff that i am the create as the creator don't see as far as features on youtube there's ways to like send people timestamps, you know of stuff that happens in the video so like you send it to them and it, and you send it to them right as it happens like i don't know how that works though says that his friend was working away in a dark basement when all of a sudden this happened. It's bright. Oh, I remember this. Hello, Y'all remember this? Hello? Hello? Yo, man, this creepy old man is just sitting here whistling. Thought I saw something behind me. I'm already getting freaked out. Y'all, we got 569 live viewers in here. We've been in here a few minutes. I can't even see how long we've been in here, actually. Make sure y'all hitting that like button for your boy. We've been in here in less than 15 minutes. Hit that like button for your boy. <clears throat> we need a we need a thousand likes by the end of this live stream since we're gonna be here for four hours. Out of nowhere, a random creepy guy can be seen slowly walking toward the person with the camera. Man, you think I'm scared of him? He can't even step up this curb right now without holding on to the door. He ain't gonna be able to catch me unless he's faking it. Whistling an eerie tune. At one point in the video, the cameraman proceeds to ask the strange man some questions such as who he is, but the man does not reply. If you ask me, the videographer did a really good job keeping us calm because I know for sure that a lot of people out there wouldn't be so cool and collected. Hey, the fact that this man is has such a good whistle, <laughs> he, he don't answer no question. You, hey, hey, sir, can, can I help you? Who are you? <laughs> Why is he whistling? What would you do if you found yourself in this situation? <clears throat> Either the whistling is is like calming him, or he finds it relaxing, or he's like having fun. Like I don't know. 
Imagine you head out to your local Walmart grocery store during the day to get some things for the house. Okay. Obviously not thinking anything of it because why would you? Right. Only to then realize later on that somebody followed you home from the store. That's the situation that this Reddit user found themselves in. They uploaded this video to the aptly titled Creepy Video Subreddit and showcases doorbell camera footage of a creepy man walking up to their front door, acting strangely before then leaving. Take a look. My man got on a face mask with his nose out like he about to rob somebody. <clears throat> what are you doing? He's acting weird. Very suspicious. Oh, he just put something in a bush. What the heck? A comment from the uploader re I think he's trying to hide something. He's on the run. It's, quote, for anyone asking if you left something, no, there are windows on each side of the doors. Oh, okay. Blinds were open, but not all the way. He was most likely peeping into my house. I checked to make sure nothing was left and I couldn't find anything, end quote. I think most people would be truly horrified if this happened to them. Let's just all hope that this creepy man never returns to this Reddit user's house ever again. This security camera video was posted to Reddit half a year ago and starts off normally enough. We watch as a woman makes her way into this unidentified hotel, seemingly ready to go to her room and go to bed. However, as she is soon going to find out, it won't be that easy. The woman can be seen walking down the hotel corridor while playing around on her phone, when all of a sudden, this happens. Aw oh, man, I don't got on the right hat for what's about to happen. Joseph gifted five channel memberships, make sure y'all thank him. Y'all saw her hair? A plan can be seen randomly tipping over, much to the confusion of the woman shown in the footage. But before the plan tips over, a shadowy figure can be seen for just a brief second. Finally, a blast of wind hits her face out of nowhere. Oh Joy, you see me holding this pillow? <laughs> I'm scared. She then bolts into a full-on sprint before the video shuts off abruptly. What could have possibly caused all of this to happen? There certainly didn't seem to be any strings attached to it anywhere, but maybe it was just hard to see. Let's just hope that this woman managed to have a good rest of her stay at the hotel, and she didn't experience any more paranormal encounters. How did her hair blow like that, though? Yo, did she drop her phone, too? I don't think I noticed that before. ...to it anywhere, but maybe it was just hard to see. Let's just hope that this woman managed to have a good rest of her stay at the hotel, and she didn't experience any more paranormal encounters. Couldn't tell. This next video was filmed on a trail camera, but it's unknown who the owner of the video is. The video itself is highly unnerving. The footage in question is trail cam footage, which appears to be relatively fine and normal at first, but in just a few seconds, you will see that this particular piece of footage is anything but normal. Let's watch. Ew. That gotta be a rake. Nate, look, I don't care how skinny you are. Ain't nobody shaped like this. Yo, what the freak of nature? No way that's a human. That's crazy looking. Man, you know that thing got back problems. His legs... It's too long for him to be on his hands like that.
Prime Sinister channel member. Welcome. As you can see, a strange bony creature can be seen making its way across the area. Man, super bony. That the camera is recording. Do y'all think this could be a man though? Like, I th there's no way, right? Look at this thing. What? There's... This can't be an actual person, could it? Could it be? The head shape is all weird. It's like he ain't got no neck. And his head is like skinny. Many people who have seen this video believe it is a sighting of the rake. Heck yeah, this thing look like a rake. But those like it's about to rake up some leaves. So unfamiliar, the rake is a monster in the online horror fiction genre, creepypasta. It is depicted as an unusually tall, hairless, pale, humanoid creature who generally crouches or crawls on all fours. Yeah, it looked just like that. Do you think that this trail cam managed to capture authentic footage of the rake, or is this something much less terrifying than we think? Let's hope that it's the latter. FTL. Somebody said, is it naked? I mean, could you imagine a rake with clothes on or a skinwalker? I mean, what they need clothes for? This final video was posted to YouTube on June 2nd, 2010. I don't think they're intelligent enough for clothes, but maybe. By a man named Andres Gonzalez. In the video, Andres writes, quote, Sometimes I've heard noises at home, but I don't really care about it. But once, when I started to practice with my piano, strange things happened. End quote. He then goes on to insist that the footage is 100% real. Let's take a look at the video in question. Alright. Just because he said the footage is 100% real don't mean he not 100% lying. That's my jam right there. What happened? What happened? Quality just got real potato 99 all of a sudden. Oh, wow. That's ultra potato 99. Look at that. Bro, what's... Bro, turn on a light or something. God. Can't see nothing. Bro, you're killing me with the darkness, man. Hello? Turn on the light and steal potato ninety nine. <laughs> Bruh is using a very old camera. You see how old his TV was? It was one of them square ones from back in the day. It wasn't <laughs> While playing around on his keyboard, he hears a strange noise that startles him immediately. What follows is scary noises inside of the house, as well as stuff being moved around. Even weirder, the television inside of his house turns on and off with lots of static before eventually a door slam shuts seemingly all on its own. All of this happening in the span of just a few minutes. 
if this video is indeed real, then it's clear that Andres was, or perhaps still is, living inside of an extremely haunted house. That he is... Bruh, I'm with you guys. It was so much going on in that clip. It was, it was so <clears throat> chaotic. People in the chat is like, I don't understand what I'm watching right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hopefully moved out of since. This video is 13 years old, so let's... 13? You sure it wasn't 20 teen? That just look old. Hope that in that time, he has been able to live peacefully. 13 years? Nah, we, we had flash screens 13 years ago. This is... That's a box. This next... Hey, y'all, how many times have we seen this clip? Don't worry, the 50... I keep having people asking me about the 511 time merch. It's coming. I promise you, it's coming. We're still working on the design, but it's, it's coming. Just give me a few months. This video was published to YouTube on August 8th, 2020 by a channel known as JBish26 and shows some seriously frightening and unsettling stuff that was captured on a wise camera. In the description of the post, the uploader says that at the time of this video's recording, he was on vacation for four days in Oregon when he suddenly got this alert on his phone saying that there was something detected on his camera. This is what the camera captured. I cannot even begin to imagine just how utterly terrified I would be upon checking my home security camera and seeing that on the footage. If you look carefully, in the footage you can make out what appears to be some sort of paranormal entity peak. Hey y'all, uh, please, no swear words in the chizat. We got kids in here, come on. ...king around the room, seemingly trying to hide from the camera. The video eventually abruptly ends, leaving us all to wonder what in the world we just saw and whether or not the thing we saw was a ghost or not. Either way, I am genuinely curious as to what this homeowner did upon arriving back home from his trip. Let's hope that today he's doing a lot better and hopefully he moved into a new house. Takisha, I think I said his name right, thank you so much. She says she loves Sometimes the people set up security cameras in their bedroom that are set to record when they go to bed for safety reasons. To be honest, it's something that more of us should probably invest in doing, as this horrifying video proves. The footage was uploaded to TikTok by a user named Some Demon on July 27th, 2022, and shows security camera footage of a woman enjoying a good night's sleep in the middle of the night. They got a little content creator set up over here with the microphone. Is it just me or is that microphone huge? <laughs> However, unfortunately for her, this peaceful and dreamy sleep is about to get rudely interrupted by something very, very evil. She's sleepy. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Yo. How she? No. How she? She said. What the? She was possessed. She need. She needs something to come get that out of her. Yeah. The young woman sits up out of bed in an unsettling manner before opening up her mouth as wide as possible before abruptly lying down again. I don't know about you, but this video reminded me a lot of Reagan and the Exorcist, who also gets possessed in bed and starts screaming. Do you think that this woman on this TikTok video really did get possessed, or was it just an example of really good acting? Either way, it will definitely stick with you. Bruh, I feel like she really can open her mouth that wide. And yes, 51 times is exactly how many times we have seen this clip. Are we really as safe as we think we are when we go to bed? Think about that before you turn the lights off tonight. Thank you, Irene. 
FTL in the chat if it's your first time live with us. That means this is your first time seeing this crazy clip. When you get a notification on your Ring doorbell camera, you probably check it expecting to find someone and get an immediate answer as to who was at your door. Yes. Not so much in this instance. John Huddleston says that at around 11 p.m. he got a notification on his Ring doorbell camera that a person was detected outside of his garage. The following video is that footage. Oh, it's the Pennywise balloon again. Didn't we just see this recently? I don't remember what happens next, honestly. It rains more. Got it. I don't remember that part. Oh, I remember this part. The car lights up. And did nothing. <laughs> Maybe somebody had a flashlight and they're sitting in the back. Who was, if the car, if somebody was indeed in this car, why, why, what was they in there doing for so long? Just chilling? Maybe lighting one up, you know? I know people that do that. They go sit in their car and light up. Did you see it? A Hot box the car. Strange balloon can be seen floating around John's driveway for a few seconds and then a little bit later, John's car seems to light up from the inside for no apparent reason. Somebody's, John is not exact. It looked like somebody sparked up back there, I'm not gonna lie. ...to show what was going on here and what happened, but it's probably safe to assume that he's been more than a little freaked out by this incident, and understandably so. I'm just gonna write it off as somebody was lighting up in the back seat, and the balloon was a coincidence, came from the next door neighbor's kid's birthday party. This could obviously just be one big coincidence, but the timing of these two incidents certainly makes the footage a whole lot more eerie. What do you think was going on here? Be sure to let me know your theories in the comments. First impression says we saw this yesterday on Slam Ham's YouTube channel. I don't know who Slam Ham is. I know it's Slapped Ham, but I don't know Slam Ham. Home security cameras are set up by homeowners in order to monitor the safety of their home. Facts. Usually, the worst... Man, this is the dopest security camera I've ever seen. It like, it's an eyeball just looking at you all the time. Like, what you doing over there? Just how you doing? Over, oh, you, now you're moving over here. It sees everything. Then you'll I want this security camera. I hope it's 4K, too. And no potato 99s. Find on the camera as a potential burglar. But this homeowner that, that camera might be looking around too much like god i need you to just focus on one area you look everywhere and just to capture something potentially even worse oh she might do Take something crazy she got a bottle of something some alcohol or something like wine maybe red wine yo what the freak is that oh that's whoever tried like get away from her I thought she was about to be attacked by somebody crouching behind the car right here. Y'all saw that? What the frick? All right, I'm so confused. The footage, which was filmed in the middle of the night, appears to be relatively normal at first. But if you pay close attention to the back of the car that's parked in the driveway, you should be able to see what appears to be some sort of strange figure lurking around. Yo, no, this thing really is about to attack her. At first, I thought it was hiding from her. The figure. And why he crawling on all fours? That is not an effective position to be in. If she turned around and kicked you in your face, you're done, my guy. Appears to have long hair and is crawling around on all fours in a very disturbing manner. That don't look like hair. That like ears. To this day, the TikTok user who published the video has no idea what this entity is, but we can only hope that it isn't anything supernatural or otherworldly. In this instance, it would be better if it was just some weirdo creeping around late at night. Better not be. A couple of months ago, a Reddit user by the name of No Adagio sixty seven four Christian, I don't know what you're talking about. Three posted this highly mysterious video online that has been the topic of much debate online whether or not it's real or fake. Ooh. Bigfoot sighted in Toronto, Canada. Or was it Ontario? 
Regardless, I believe it if it's in, in Canada. The video in question starts off relatively normal as we watch a blurry video taken by someone's cell phone camera in a boat. Somewhere Potato 99 much? In Ontario, Canada. Ontario. All seems to be going perfectly fine, but then this happens. What? Is that a light? Is that a light bar? Oh, look, it's a big foot. I see it. He got big feet. Y'all saw that big foot? It was hairy, too. Like a big foot. He had real big feet. There you go. I wonder if the person on the boat or the person recording saw that. Because they just quiet. They just say nothing. They just scream, hey, look at that over there. Nothing. Or was this staged? They're like, hey, we're going to put you out over here. That's a perfect little plot of land for a Bigfoot sighting, you know. When, when I get close enough on the boat, you know, just know I'm going to have the boat already pointed in that direction, so... Give me, uh, we'll say about 40 feet out. Yeah, just just run when you feel like I'm about 40 feet out. Just just do the big foot walk. You know you know the big foot walk when your, your back is crunched over like this and you walk like that. I'll get it on camera. Hey, why do big foots always look like they're strutting? It kind of, it looked like they're like, like doing a light jog, but they'd be like, <laughs> I swear every time. Go see if you got some footprints over there now, man. At one point in the video, a mysterious entity that heavily resembles Bigfoot can be seen wandering around in the forest not too far off in the distance. But is it actually Bigfoot or is it something else? To this day, nobody is 100% sure. What do you think these boaters managed to film that day? Was that actually Bigfoot or something much less interesting like someone in a costume? I'm going with B for the win. A woman named Mandy took to TikTok to share this piece of security camera video that was recorded outside of her home. Take a good look at the shed to the left of the screen around the six second mark and see if you notice anything. over there okay goodbye was was that thing looking this way or looking into the shed as you can see a hooded figure or perhaps a shadow person walks into frame A separate video posted by Mandy shows yet another piece of security camera footage filmed outside of her home. That was a bug. In the it almost hit me in my eye. Of the night. Take it. What you talking about, Peggy? I've never seen this clip before in my life. But listen to this one. See the shadow of something right over here on the side. And what we're hearing doesn't sound like 
what I would think this shadow person is making or the shadow being cast from this person is making. It sounds like an, a witch let me in and scratching on the door acting crazy. But this individual sh shadow over here is acting very normal. Almost as if it could be the homeowner trying to play a prank on us. We don't take very lightly to pranks. Some genuinely unnerving sounds can be heard coming from nearby. But as for what exactly they are, and I ring. Shout out to your son Noah. Hey Noah. That's for who or what is making them is anybody's guess. They definitely sound quite chilling though. Do you have any theories as to what was outside of Mandy's house these two nights? Let's just hope that whatever it was, it's gone now and she can go back to living a peaceful life. This first video comes to us from the wildly popular ghost subreddit and was posted by a user named Raj the Casper. The video in question shows what appears to be an ordinary office workplace. Yo, this is one of the dopest clips ever. But in just a few moments, we haven't seen it potato, I mean potato, 50, 50 11 times. Only once. This seemingly innocent video turns into something sinister. I didn't know there was a little kid in there. The footage seems to have been taken during the middle of the day during a busy hour in which several employees. <laughs> or maybe I did notice there's a little kid in there. No, he didn't. <laughs> Sir Spook says this clip seems to be taken in the middle of the day during a busy hour. They're all eating. <laughs> They're all sitting here chilling. With the kid in the room, big eating, nobody's doing work. What are you talking about? This is a busy hour. Can be seen huddled around a desk together, discussing something work related. No, discussing something food related. However, if you look carefully right about here, you should be able to make out something rather odd, to say the least. Take a There's look. a bunch of helmets in this room. What, what kind of place is this? I'm, I'm assuming this place sells motorcycle gear because these look like these could be motor um motorcycle jackets over here i could be wrong whatever happens i think the guy catches it yep the drawer open and the guy sees that mess did you see it if not, you're not alone, as many other commenters on Reddit said that they had to watch the video multiple times over in order to see what was so strange about this video. Really? Right here. People on Reddit be blind sometimes, I guess. The draw. How do you not see this the first time? Beneath the helmet on the left appears to open all by itself. Or the second time. The uploader of this video says that this office has had drawers and cabinets randomly opened by themselves for years. So this isn't something new that's been going on at the OP's workplace. Let's just hope that whatever creepy spirit is roaming around this office will soon grow tired of the antics and float away to someplace else. Hey y'all, shout out to everybody on the website that's copping. That's copping the plushies. Let's see if y'all can make it to the end of the live stream because I'm going to shout you guys out for copping. Some merch on the website. I'm holding on to this one though, cause this stuff right here, it, it, it brings me comfort. This first video comes to us from the wildly popular Paranormal Encounters subreddit from a user by the name of Prestigious Bad 1998, who posted this creepy video that has been the talk of the subreddit for the past little while. He says that his motion sensor usually picks up white orbs, but says that this particular piece of footage was quite different from the rest that he usually manages to film. Let's take a look and see for ourselves. Y'all, we're about halfway there with the likes. We try to get a thousand likes by the end of the live stream. We got 1,100 of y'all in here. Hit that like button for your boy. I'm telling you, somebody just came down to get a late snack, you know, late night snack in the kitchen. And the camera just doesn't do a good job of picking up what they look like.
just looking at the short 5 second video once is enough to give you goosebumps. At first, it looks as though some black orb is making its way down the stairs, but with each passing second, the more eerily human whatever this thing is starts to look. Could this potentially be some sort of paranormal entity walking around this homeowner's house? If that's not the definitive answer, then what could it possibly be? Either way, I think it's safe to say that we're all hoping that this poor homeowner can soon go back to living his life in peace and quiet. Hey, shout out to everybody that's watching us on, on Twitch as well, man. Yo, the stream is so clear over there. Goodness gracious. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is widely known for making videos online in which he explores a multitude of creepy and abandoned places in the world. And in this video published to his account on May 29th, 2023, he's heading out to an abandoned school known as the Robert Fulton School, located in Cleveland, Ohio. The school is over 90 years old. When Chris is shown walking around throughout the school, it's quite clear that the place has seen much better days. Shout out to Urbex Hill! There is debris and rubble scattered absolutely everywhere. However, the first scare for Chris that night comes at around the four and a half minute mark when he's exploring this creepy corridor area of the building. Take a look and have a listen. I see dead people. Oh, brighten it up. Nice. Oh, okay. I think it came from down. It came from down there. A strange, loud sound can be heard coming from somewhere inside of the building. But nevertheless, Chris presses on and continues with his investigation, which proves to be a mistake. At the 30 minute mark of the video, Chris comes across a door that has a sign tape to it that reads Keep Out. Man. Chris, however, does not listen and proceeds to open the door anyway. Of course he don't listen. Then I wouldn't either. This happens. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go inside. Enter at your own will. No door handle. Oh, guess can't go in there. If it don't have a handle, I'm not. Oh wait, somebody's on the other side. Somebody's right there, fool. Or maybe not. Freaking me out, man. Just go inside, man. Well, somebody was rolling up in here, man. They were smoking on some, some um, black and mild looking things. I guess that's what that is. That's why they said keep out this day little, this day little room that they be in. Why would you be in here like this, man? You got that whole dang on school looking building, but you pick one little room to be in. See it? An extremely loud voice can be heard screaming at Chris, which causes him to run away in fear. Who was this mysterious person? Was it a homeless person that was hiding out in the building? If not, then who? One thing's note to self: if it says keep out, guess what you need to do? Keep out. For sure. 
Chris won't want to come back to explore this place again anytime soon. Miss Anderson, shout out to you. Thanks for the fact that I'm done a big baby. This video from Reddit may only be a couple of seconds long, but it's absolutely sure to give you the chills. The post was made by a user named Menace to Sobriety, who shared the security camera footage on the internet. The video in question certainly appears to be fairly normal when you first take a look at it. We can see a girl laying down on her bed in the middle of the day as she plays around on her phone. However, in just a matter of seconds, this seemingly harmless video will pull the rug out from under you, and you'll see. Did I just click on the flash like it was going to take the pic? The, the, the picture button is right here. I, I clicked on the flash. All I did was put the flash down, put it away. Because <laughs> that's what this is. Potato 99 to the fullest. We've seen it 50 11 times, but not potato 99. I don't remember. That sometimes even being in the comfort of your own bed doesn't make you entirely safe. Get yanked, get yanked, and he's out. <laughs> Go. Left his phone and everything. He can't call nobody for help. Out of nowhere, an unseen presence proceeds to move the girl's bed a couple of inches. Oh, it's a girl, my bad. Which prompts the terrified girl to get off of the bed immediately and run out of the room as fast as she possibly can. Immediately, she was Sadly, gone. Sadly, there aren't any bits of context that were left behind with this video for us to analyze and dissect. But even still, this is one creepy video that will surely make you pull the blankets up over your head tonight when you're trying to sleep. Kiko. He says, got a username for grandson Pud. What up, Pud? What's good with you, Pud? Game Catched posted this video to the aforementioned High Strangeness subreddit and says that he was just mindlessly scrolling through some colleague's website. What y'all laughing at? Y'all laughing at me? <laughs> before I eventually stumbled upon this creepy Instagram video. Oh, heck no, nah. don't tell me this is the clip we done seen 50 11 times, including yesterday. The video at first just appears to be some random video of a beach in the middle of the day. Sasqu Sasquatch, is that the paranormal chick? Kind of boring, right? We know the paranormal chick. Wrong. What initially appears to just be a standard video soon transforms into being a genuinely strange one. Yo, wait, what was that? That was actually beautiful. What was, I gotta see that again. That was gorgeous. Upon this creep Crap, I went back too far. God, when the video is four hours long, the slightest little fast forward or rewind takes you a freaking mile. The Instagram video. The video is I barely clicked it. It just appears to be some random video of a beach in the middle of the day. Kind of boring, right? What? Wrong. Ugh. All I, I'm not rewinding or fast forwarding again because this video is too long. <laughs> I wanted to see this again. It looks, it looks beautiful. It looks like ice almost. Initially appears to just be a standard video, soon transforms into being a genuinely strange one. It, it is the same clip. Look at that. It's swimming. Like Sasquatch. That's not what I meant. I got Bigfoot on the brain. I meant to say Loch Ness Monster. It did the Loch Ness dive with the... Look at this. What is that? This reminds me, I'm doing a TikTok conspiracy theory video tomorrow with a whistleblower that gave some detail about mermaids that's Amazing. I can't wait till y'all see that video. I just filmed it today. As you can see, in the distance throughout the remainder of the video, we can see some sort of massive entity moving around in the water before the video eventually cuts off abruptly. And when I say whistleblower, I mean a militant whistleblower, like... Somebody that can blow whistles. A lot of people seem to think that this is none other than a sea serpent. And judging by how it looks... Holly, I'm gonna be in uh, New Orleans for Mardi Gras. ...can definitely see why so many people are suspecting that. 
However, this also could have been a completely mundane object, such as people saying potato 99. It's not potato 99. It's zoom in 99. Because when you zoom in, that's when you lose all the quality on this footage. It was it looked good before they zoomed in. But they zoomed in too much. It's a rogue net, a tree, on all fish. And no all tree. explanations oh, provided fish. by commenters. But if you guys think you have a good explanation, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Are orifice, as always. Are orifice that long and they can go in and out of water like a serpent? I don't know. A oh, man no, on TikTok named Danny Mars, who's a TV presenter and paranormal investigator, runs an account known simply as the Paranormal Investigator, where he uploads clips of his various findings from ghost hunting. He definitely has plenty of creepy videos that are sure to make you want to sleep with the lights turned on, but there's one video in particular that certainly rises above the rest. The video starts off relatively normal as we watch a wall in a normal looking room, but in just a matter of seconds, this video is about to send shivers straight up your spine. Take a look. Mm. Guys, watch this here. Oh my god. That was beautiful. Look at that thing. It's a ghost walking, y'all. That's cool. That was cool. Out of nowhere, a mysterious ghostly apparition seems to move across the wall, much to the shock and awe of Danny, who definitely seems more mesmerized than scared. Shout Someone out to First Impression for gifting the channel membership. Judy, make sure you thank him. In the background, even chimes in in admiration for this piece of footage. This is definitely a short clip, but it's also one that is guaranteed to blow you away. That is, if you believe it to be real. Do you, it look pretty real to me. Do you think this footage is authentic, or are you more of a skeptic in this case? I don't know. They're recording off of the surveillance footage, you know, using their phone to record it, like playing it back. Be sure to let me know your maybe. This could be a video editing thoughts and theories. Do you remember the feeling you got when you went exploring around the woods and the outdoors with your family or friends? No, nope, never did it. It's an exciting adventure for sure, but you probably didn't have anything creepy or disturbing happen to you. Unfortunately for the kids that are showcased in this video, they cannot say the same thing. Good. This TikTok video posted by an account known as WV Paranormal uploaded this footage which shows a few kids walking around in the woods in the middle of broad daylight simply exploring at first it seems as if these kids are having fun oh y'all talk about some little kids but that fun quickly turns to fear in the blink of an eye when this can be seen kate get up here get away from him come on guys what the heck was that walking behind them you okay The freak of nature. Out of nowhere, a mysterious creature can be seen walking next to the young kids. Brandy, Christian, Steve, shout out to y'all. Heather, shout out to y'all. Causing them to run away in sheer panic and fear before the video proceeds to abruptly end. To this day, nobody is quite sure what exactly was captured on this video. Was it actually something paranormal following them, or was it all simply a hoax? What do you think it was? Be sure to let me know your theories in the comments below. I'm calling a hoax. I think the whole family was this in on it. This first entry centers on a man named Wade who has been experiencing some genuinely creepy stuff as you're about to find out. He says in the beginning of the video that he has been hunkered down in his bedroom all day, with him and his baby and the family dog. He says that the dog has to go outside, so he's going to let her out, and figures that he can record something, and it's here in which we see what may be going on. I figured I would just record the whole thing. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's go potty days. Nope. Nope. 
Go to the room. Go, Daisy. Nope. Go, nope. Go, 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 go. That's my guy. Nope, not me. The chair can be seen moving around all by itself, which could be a ghost. But a concerned commenter has suggested that it could actually be someone living in his house without his knowledge. In the second video, Wade says that he just woke up after hearing some scratching noises coming from his door, saying that he initially believed it to be his dog, but the dog is right there on the bed. Take a look at how the rest of the video unfolds. Oh, I remember this. I don't remember that. Daisy, no, 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 no. Bruh, I do not understand how this man climbed out of that window so effortlessly. That window ain't, that window was, look, it's not low to the ground, even on the inside. Oh, crap. I went back too far. No, 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 no. Darn it. Went back too far again. All right, watch. It gets the baby. The baby was asleep. He didn't even pick the child up right. Got his head hanging back. Look at him. See the window? That window is not low. How is he climbing through this window with a child in his arms? So effortlessly. I would have had to use both hands to get up there. You know what I'm saying? He just jumped down like nothing. You okay? The baby woke up. Surprised the baby ain't crying. That's a good baby. My man is out here barefooted. Daisy. Come on. He opens up the door to let the dog out. Shit. Daisy, get in the car. Get in the car. What could possibly be going Jeez. on inside of Wade's house? Do you think that he may be getting targeted by some strange paranormal entity? Is somebody living in this house without his knowing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah, he did climb out the freaking window with the baby. Y'all, we got over 1,200 live viewers in here with 617 likes. We're trying to get 1,000 likes by the end of the live stream. We got another three hours to go. I can't believe it. I already feel like I've been in here too long. <laughs> A movie theater is supposed to be a fun place where you can sit down and unwind with an entertaining movie and forget all about your troubles for a couple of hours. But sometimes, as you're about to see, that's not always possible. Big facts! A TikTok user known as Resiux posted the following video to his account. He says that he works at this movie theater, and he says that he has to check all the theaters at night as well as check the doors. He also says that he has to check behind the theater curtains to make sure nobody's living back there. While walking back to the area he started filming at, he ends up capturing something genuinely creepy. Take a look at the window and you should be able to see it. You know, no one's back here. And then you just go and... What the fuck? The second video that the TikToker uploaded shows him investigating the room in which he saw the figure. Take a look and see everything unfold. Hey y'all, we gonna take the time out right now. Heidi done gifted 50 Ugh, channel memberships. Make sure y'all grab them before they are gone and make sure y'all thank Heidi for the channel memberships. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you thank her. Make sure you thank her. We're going to take this time while y'all grabbing those channel memberships. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We ain't here, baby. I just saw somebody up here, and it's the scariest shit I've ever seen, dude. Like, I'm, like I was just down here, and I was back down there in that corner right there, and I literally just, like, can't. What the? What the? F Dang, we got a 
a bunch of new channel members in the building. Make sure y'all be here for the next live stream so I can shout y'all out. Heidi always coming through with the blessings, mate. She the blessings queen. That's what we're going to do. There's a her. shadow figure behind the machine with the mini bright yellow and green buttons in the back. Y'all, and just like that, we got 69 new channel members in the first hour of the live stream. That's crazy. Which the uploader notices at the end of the video before it abruptly ends without warning. To this day, it is unknown as to what this figure was and why it was lurking around in this movie theater in the first place. The uploader says that he is contemplating quitting his job at this point, and who can blame him? The person who posted this video to their Reddit account, dated July 21st, 2019, says that they had just left to go to the water park for the day. He says that he only checked the footage because the motion sensor went off and triggered the alarm, which caused the security company to call. However, after checking the cameras and probably expecting to see nothing of interest, instead they saw this. They so said what? The light behind me is flickering, the door is opening. Closing, I should say. Is that China on the wall? Fine China. I ain't noticed that before. The uploader says that he made sure to check around the house and see if anything was stolen and thankfully discovered that nothing was. Good. But still, this video has not been properly explained, which is quite strange to say the least. What do you guys think was going on in this house? Shout out to Bright Guy. I didn't even know this Bright Guy gifted 10 channel memberships as well. Was there some kind of paranormal activity going on, or was it something far less sinister? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. AKA Rex, how you been watching me for seven and a half years? I ain't even been doing YouTube that long. <laughs> in I had my channel that long, but I, I wasn't posting for the first Th two, three years. Imagine you are simply in your kitchen trying to cook yourself a meal when all of a sudden you hear some seriously strange banging and knocking noises coming from inside your attic. Obviously, you would be quite freaked out because, well, who could possibly be in your attic? This is the situation that this TikTok user found themselves in one day, posting their experience to the internet. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the footage. I have not been in that attic in months. Jeremy, get back. And every time I I try to go shut it, I keep hearing this knocking sound. It doesn't seem to want to do it now, but like it's every time I go near it. I don't like attics. Stop doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. What the that? Something's up there, bro. There's no way. There's no way. A lot of people in the comments seem to be convinced that there may be some stranger living in her attic, which would explain the knocking noises. To this day, however, nobody is sure of the definitive answer. And to be completely honest with you, it's hard for me to think about what would be worse. Having your house be haunted by some creepy paranormal entity or have someone be secretly living in your house. Either way, it's definitely reason enough to move out of your home ASAP. Nah, both are pretty bad. Both are pretty bad. I feel like the latter one would be somebody living in your house, you can easily kick them out. If somebody done snuck into your attic and lived up there, you can kick them out. 
But a ghost, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult for to get them out. I don't... This first video comes to us from a TikTok user known as MotorWinds. On his page, you can typically find videos of him riding around on a motorbike outside, enjoying his time in nature. That's exactly what this particular video seemed to be. Just See, that's why I don't need a motorcycle, because I will be popping willies for sure. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Just another casual upload from the TikToker. Man, we done seen this video about oh, 50 11 times. But as it turns out, this video ended up capturing something absolutely terrifying. The uploader can be seen traversing the woods, nothing out of the ordinary, when suddenly this can be heard. Oh, this way. Uh, this is where most people would turn around. You turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side. That's where all the gold is waiting over there. Shit. That's what you think. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Callie, thank you for the dollar, baby. Hello? 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 Just Mom, 225. Thank you, baby. Hey, I need y'all to spam the chat right now. We got almost 1,300 live viewers. Where are y'all watching us from? Where in the world are y'all watching us from? Let's go. Remember, if it's your first time joining us, put FTL in the chat for first time live. I was out of there. Could be missing out what's on the other side. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, big boy. What's on the other side? What's on the other side of nothing your business? It's evil on the other side. It's evil, I tell you. Go back. That's why that tree fell over, because you're supposed to go no further than that. If you can't ride back on that motorcycle without having to stop and pick your bike up over the tree, you don't need to be going that far, my guy. That's just a rule of thumb. Hello? Hawaii. Ciao, ciao. We got people all over A mysterious the place. voice somewhere in the area can be heard saying hey before it then says help. Understandably, this startles the uploader who can only stand in one place. Puerto Rico. Hey, don't tell me where you're from. Tell me where you're at, baby. Utterly baffled. Eventually, he manages to bike his way out of there before anything could escalate, which was probably for the best. Who knows what kind of terrifying entity was awaiting in there? Could it have been that of a skinwalker? That's at least what the uploader suggests this could be. Or was it simply something easily explainable? I suppose we'll never know for sure. This scary TikTok video was published to an account belonging to a man named Tristan, who said that he was waiting for his wife to come home, who arrived just a few minutes after filming this. While filming, however, it turns out that Tristan managed to film something rather creepy that has since caused many viewers of this video to be completely creeped out. Take a look. This second video is also filmed in Tristan's house on a different day. He says that he started filming because he started to hear some strange noises coming from somewhere in the house. Let's take a look at the footage that he captured on the second video.
I still don't understand how this happens. There's clearly something strange going on with Tristan and his house, but what exactly it is, is not currently known. What do you make of all this? Do you think Tristan's house is being haunted by some strange, unseen spirit? Could it be a poltergeist? Or is this just a hoax? Pick the level. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This Reddit user was at home just trying to use the bathroom in peace when he got a rude awakening from beyond. Take a look at the footage and be sure to turn your volume up. Uh -uh. My man think he got people in his house. Sound like sound like Alexa malfunctioning. That definitely appears to be some sort of voice that says the uploader's name. And it definitely seems as if whoever said the man's name is coming from somewhere very far away, interestingly. The upload also wrote, quote, First, sorry for the mess. Second, I don't know how to make the audio clearer or turn my dog's claws on the Camille gifted five channel memberships makes you a thanker or you don't deserve it. It doesn't sound like my name in the playback footage, but it sounded like my name. It took me a second to register what I heard because my fiancé was still another 20 minutes away from home. I'm 95% sure it wasn't my dogs, as you can see the one react and it doesn't sound like their whines. What do you think? End quote. If you have any theories as to what was going on in this video, What up Chris, y'all always talking about my face. ...below, because this is quite eerie indeed. I wouldn't want to hear my name called by an unknown entity next time I go to the bathroom. This next video was submitted to me by a viewer of mine who also sent along this email, which gives some context to the video. So let's have a read through and see what he says. Okay. Quote, this video was filmed back in 2008 in a little town in Mexico called Coatzacoalcos. It was some sort of goodbye party. This footage is from 2008. I thought it was newer than that. 50 11 times. Just last night, many of the guys in the video were hanging out, having a couple of beers, and they decided to watch some old videos for old time's sake. And that's when they were horrified about whatever shows up in the video around 3.50. It's not there at the beginning of the video. Right now, all of them are still pretty uneasy about this because this is the first time in 15 years that they realize they might have filmed a ghost or something. The drummer says that he didn't see or feel anything then, end quote. So, with that context given to us, let's now take a look at the video and make sure to pay super close attention to the TV here. Y'all, this is so crazy because this looks 100% real. But supposedly, can nobody can stand back there in this area back there. I don't know how real that is, how true that is. So terrifying for those guys to see that horrifying discovery all those years later. The email continues onward from the viewer, reading, quote, As you may imagine, the guys are trying to figure what out what the heck that is. So they have started throwing some theories. One of them is obviously that the place is haunted. The other one that is creepy as hell is that it is the ghost of one friend that around 2003 committed suicide. The house in which that happened was just across the street. Since this was a goodbye party, maybe she wanted to say goodbye as well. I don't know what to think. But I'm pretty sure that the video has not been altered or something like that. It is weird. I have watched a lot of videos like this on the channel, but knowing the people involved makes it incredibly creepy." End quote. 
Do you guys have any theories as to what this person managed to record on camera here? Let me know in the comments below. This TikTok username Darcy Adam was just enjoying his stay, relaxing and hanging around when he noticed something absolutely terrifying going on across the street from him that left him petrified. He explains that the house opposite his mom's is empty and has been up for sale for six months. However, it seems like it won't be getting sold anytime soon if the potential new homeowners see the following clip. There's evil lurking in the windows next door. Evil. Evil. Evil, I tell you. As you can see, there's clearly something inside the house, almost looking like a ghost girl, but we obviously can't be sure. Is it just a girl standing there in a strangely eerie manner, or are we actually dealing with the paranormal? Of course, there are lots of possible different theories. Definitely could be a disturbed individual. Here, so I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you guys think that this was just a random person in the window, or was this a creepy paranormal entity that was roaming around? Either way, I pray for the person who moves into this place next. Thanks. A TikTok video that was published on October 22nd, 2023, by user by the name of Magical Poltergeist. Shout out to Beautiful Soul for the $10. No, no, big baby, Jenny. Three years, baby. I like it. In the footage, we watch as the uploader's wife sleepwalks down into the kitchen late at night. Kind of weird, but it's nothing out of the ordinary, right? Oh, so sleepwalking she... happens a lot to a ton of people. So she's a sleepwalker too, huh? Okay. Is this who I think it is? But as you're about to see... I can't tell. E, this is no ordinary sleepwalking incident. Not even remotely. It is her. It is her. Why they ain't never tell us about her sleepwalking spells until now? Well, we've seen this clip before, but is sleepwalking new for her and the family? Take a look at what happens when the woman takes a seat at one of the kitchen chairs right about here. I forgot what's about to happen next. I ain't gonna lie. And action. No reaction. She must be under the trance. By whatever is causing those chairs to move. Three chairs can be seen moving randomly before an ominous shadow can be seen looming in the background. Uh -huh. But that's not all. A couple of seconds later, and the woman is in for even more terrifying encounters with the unknown. Let me see. That thing moved right in front of her face. How? Y'all gotta remember, y'all. This family, this husband and wife, the the husband is a magician. Remember that. And from the looks of thing, his magic works better when you don't see him. Cause he, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, he's. He's not a very believable magician on his own. At one point, something on the table moves right toward her abruptly before a few seconds later, one of the doors in the house slams shut as the woman continues to sit down in the chair. 
I cannot begin to imagine how terrified this woman must have been upon waking up properly later on, only for her husband to show her this utterly bone-chilling piece of footage. How could you go about your day with the knowledge that you were so openly exposed to something so terrifying? Was this woman really sitting down with paranormal entities? Be sure to leave your theories in the comments below. I left my theory already, what is yours? Imagine you purchase a new house, excited to finally move in and enjoy the rest of your life in an exciting brand new environment. Most people would be thrilled to do this, but sadly, the same cannot be said about this TikTok user whose username is Ghost Club Paranormal. She says that at the time of the recording, it's the third day of her experiencing something creepy while all alone at her new house. The thing that's creeping her out is this strange rocking chair. While it definitely appears to just be any ordinary rocking chair, it shortly shows its true colors. Take a look. Okay, I just had to go into the kitchen to get my phone. But I was just walking by this hallway. She thought she was alone in the new house. That chair. It's clearly walking by it's itself. God, I just heard a noise come from over there. There's no drafts. There's no fan. There's somebody here. Can you make a banging noise for me? I heard a knock from the kitchen, but... All right, the, the rocking chair is coming to a gradual stop. Usually rocking chairs, if they are being used by a spirit or entity, they continue to rock. But if a rocking chair comes to a stop, then who am I to not insinuate that you could have pre-rocked it and then ran away to record it from a distance while it was in, had its highest rock potential going? I did not feel any draft. How could this be possible unless somebody was rocking in the chair just moments before the woman started recording? She insists, however, that the video is 100% real and has no idea why or how the rocking chair is moving all on its own. Yeah, just 200 likes from our goal of hitting a thousand likes during the live stream. The upload even writes that she has saged, and it doesn't appear to have made any real difference, unfortunately. Let's just hope that the uploader will eventually be able to get to the bottom of this mystery and go back to living her life in peace. Otherwise, she might have to move out of her brand new home. Y'all okay, can you believe we're not even halfway through the live stream. This next video was posted to the wildly popular UFO subreddit by a user known as amedi94, who filmed the video at Disneyland, and it has been the topic of discussion online for some time now. The uploader took to the description to give us a bit of context before actually watching the video. They write, quote, I took this video when I was at Disneyland last month. It popped up out of nowhere when the show at Small World started. It is interesting because during that show, they have tons of lasers slash lights that beam up into the sky. I know it's not that insane of a video, just three lights pretty much, but the recent triangle video reminded me, end quote. Let's take a look at this video and see what exactly the uploader was able to capture that day. Is that supposed to be a UFO above Disneyland? That's crazy. I'm not the right person. Nobody sees that? Choose someone else. Choose someone else. You sure not his drone? Not crazy. Or three drones? Because the lights definitely aren't moving perfectly together or maybe it's three ufos 
While it's impossible to decipher whether or not it's actually a UFO or something else, there's simply no denying that there is a triangular shaped object, or at the very least three lights, floating around in the sky in this piece of footage. Usually, in UFO sighting pictures and videos, the floating object in question is almost always a round shape, like a disc. But they Not necessarily, sometimes they're triangle, but you know what else I never thought of until now? What What's the possibility of getting those lanterns that you light up, you know, put the, the, the candle switch or whatever it is, you light them with flames and tying them in a triangle? This guy's video shows a UFO that's in the shape of a triangle, which has also happened quite a lot through the years. So what do you think about this video? Did this Reddit user really spot a UFO hovering around Disneyland at night? Alien. Was this something else entirely? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. A woman on TikTok by the username of um, Sam I guess seems to be having experiences with strange entities from the beyond as she said that she set up her phone in the kitchen to film for an hour. She probably didn't expect to actually catch anything on tape, but as it turns out, she actually did manage to record something truly creepy. Have a look at the back door. I looking, I looking. Oh, there it goes. Interesting. It only appears for about a second or so, but if you look just carefully enough, you should be able to see what appears to be an eerie ghostly apparition casually striding along before vanishing into thin air. A lot of people who have seen this video are commenting and asking her how she can comfortably live in that house with the knowledge that there are supernatural entities roaming the house, which is quite a good question. Thanks. I know that most people would be moving out immediately. Immediately. Imagine you're on a commercial aircraft, simply trying to enjoy your flight, only to discover later on that you were being followed in the air by a UFO. This Reddit video was filmed and posted by a user by the name of Redman Matt 11 who filmed the incident near LaGuardia in New York. Matt films the plane being trailed by the UFO as he and a few others can only stare up at the sky in complete awe of what's going on. Are you kidding me? Come on. Are you serious right now? What is that? It's getting closer to What the f is that? There's a dot the following that, uh, dot plane. Everyone in the video seems to be freaked out by this incident, and it's certainly not hard to see why. What would you do if you found out that this plane was the plane that you were on? And this video also begs the question, has this ever happened before? Does this happen a lot more than we think it does? And if this really is a UFO trailing behind this plane, what does it want? Is it trying to st Aliens, baby! Aliens are real! Dog these people. These are the questions that'll keep you up at night. This first video comes to us from a TikTok user known as Johnny Grin, who posted the video to his account on January 13th, 2023. The footage in question may good idea Alexis, but nope not gonna happen i ain't got no room for no more plushies only be nine seconds long i need y'all to go ahead and get one of these plushies off of me but it's a chilling nine seconds that will leave you puzzled the footage alexis says we need um aliens are real um what, what else she said what else she said she said i wish a karen would and that's cat plushies. Shows Johnny walking around the Appalachian Mountains late at night, all by himself. Something that a lot of people would never have the courage or bravery to do, and understandably so. While wandering around the area, Johnny promptly thought that all was going well, but that all changed rather quickly when he suddenly heard a terrifying noise somewhere nearby. Have a listen. You bait is so fake. It says, Help me. So 
faint. So faint. A lot of people in the comment section are thinking the exact same thing. That noise sounded exactly like it was coming from some sort of skinwalker. Of course, nobody can confirm this for sure, but it is the most popular theory here. Do you guys have any other possible explanations for what Johnny could have heard while in the mountains that day? Was it real or fake? Assuming it was real, whatever was making that noise will hopefully keep Johnny away from these mountains late at night in the future. This video was published to the highly popular High Strangeness subreddit, which is essentially one big collection of all sorts of photos, videos and stories relating to the paranormal, UFOs, ancient cultures, cryptozoology, anomalies and other strange things. The footage in question was filmed on September 12th, 2023 at 9pm in Arizona. Providing some much needed context here, the uploader writes, quote, I was drinking with my family. I felt my house vibrated and shook so hard. Lights flicker, so I decided to go outside to see what's going on, and then I was very fascinated by the thunderstorms going off simultaneously, until I noticed something in the background." End quote. Let's have a look and see the footage for ourselves. That's crazy. As you can see, it definitely looks as though there is something extremely odd and confusing going on in the clouds. It's not the kind of like the clouds are arguing into thing you see every day, and I think that if we were to see this for ourselves in person, we would be even more scared. The uploader, however, has his opinions on it, writing, quote, my honest opinion looked like the clouds was taking turns and if I show this other video, it looks like a battle." End quote. Were these UFOs flying around the sky that night or something else? This video is proof that sometimes even things happen Andra, Scotland, welcome. up in the sky can be absolutely bone chilling. This first video was uploaded to YouTube by a user named Anti Kraul all the way back on February 10th, 2012. In the description of the video, the uploader explains that he managed to record a strange sound in Finland. In the footage, we watch as Antti is walking around outside with the camera when suddenly he hears the noise in question, and it is definitely quite bizarre to say the least. Have a listen. Hey y'all, my butt hurts. I'm about to test this plushie out. I'm about to. I'm gonna sit on my face. Let's see how well this hurt. My butt been hurting since the beginning of this live stream. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ooh. Now that's plush. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. I feel. Like I'm sitting up higher too now. Ugh, okay. Yeah. It feels like um gel. It don't even got gel in it, but it feels like gel. That feels so much better. Gosh, the relief. I was over here like this. <laughs> my ass. A 
According to Anti, this eerie noise lasted for almost 10 minutes. He also states that his microphone quality is less than stellar, noting that the sound was significantly scarier in person as opposed to how it sounds on video. As for what exactly caused this noise, Anti himself is not even sure. One commenter said the following, quote, If these noises were from down power lines, we would have heard them sometime in our lifetime before. I'm in my 40s, my husband in his 50s. Throughout every storm that we've ever encountered that's knocked down power lines, nothing even similar to this has been heard. Moreover, these sounds are being heard all over the world. End quote. The rest of the comment section corroborated this statement, many saying they'd also heard this sound at some point in their lives. So what do you think could have caused this highly unsettling sound? And perhaps just as important, what exactly is the sound? We Jeffrey said use one for each cheek. No, I need this one to hold for comfort. <clears throat> I would do that. That sounds like a great idea. We'll likely never know for sure. But I only have two plushies to myself. <laughs> On September 26th, 2023, a TikTok user took to the platform to share a piece of home security camera footage of an event that happened in the house that absolutely terrified them, and understandably so. The video in question sh Hey y'all, in case y'all hadn't noticed... Oh, I got a candy in my pocket. Yay. Y'all know who this is? This lady? This the same lady that was sitting at the table when the chairs pulled out and she looked back at the camera. This is the same lady. They upgraded from this little picnic table that they had here. There was a woman sleeping on the couch before coughing to the point of awakening herself. She's then seen talking on the phone with somebody for a little while, but right about here, something utterly terrifying happens right behind her where she sits. Watch this. Baby, what took you so long to answer? Dude, the house smells That's like right, the north. Like Pick the lemon times. Like, Pick the lemon count. It literally smells like you forgot to take the trash out or something. Like, I don't know what the is going on with this shit. Like, I literally feel like I'm about to sleep. I was just taking a nap, and the house smells disgusting. It don't matter what she's saying. We've seen it 50 times. What the f***? Baby, the lights are flickering now, dude. Baby, stop! What the f***? Baby! Just like something right out of a horror movie. She ran. I don't think most people would have reacted to this being already flipped. She only saw this thing after it flipped. She didn't see it while it was flipping. A cross that seen on the wall flipped itself to be upside down. At the same time, the light in the room began to flicker in an unusual way. The upload also says that strangely enough... I just thought about how this could easily be done. Put a magnet on the bottom of the cross and use a magnet on the other side of the wall. I'm not going to lie, these walls look paper thin. <laughs> you, it could it could have easily did this flip that thing with a magnet of the house also apparently smelled like rotten eggs at the time of this incident let's just hope that they don't have to call an exorcist anytime soon the following piece of footage was recorded on september 6th 2022 at 7 52 p.m in more hey. Hey, y'all, we only need 103 more likes to hit our goal of 1,000 likes during the live stream. Point Pacifica, California. The footage in question initially appears to be a beautiful video of the sunset, but in just a few moments, the video's true unsettling nature is about to be revealed. I still don't understand why they blocked out what's in the backyards back here. Oh, UFO. Look at that, look at that.
Look at, look at that. Beautiful. Did you see that? A mysterious orb-like object can be seen floating around the sky at random before the video eventually ends, leaving us all to wonder what exactly we just saw. A lot of people theorize that the object in question is none other than a UFO, which definitely seems to be a likely explanation, but if it's not a UFO, then what could this possibly be? I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one, so be sure to let me know your thoughts. This first video, which was uploaded by a user with the alias Wolfhound227 and shared on the popular ghost subreddit, is likely to send shivers down your spine. The uploader writes, quote, I went down into the basement of a church on my site and did some investigating there. I heard footsteps right above me moving in the direction of the altar. That was a fun night. End quote. Let's watch the footage together to find out what occurs, shall we? You'll hear it again. Yep. As you can hear, there are definitely some odd noises that sound like footsteps coming from above the uploader. These noises can be heard clearly, but the answers to the questions of why or how are not known at this time. Due to the fact that this footage is so cryptic, it is quite doubtful that we will ever figure out what's going on or why it happened. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that the next time this Reddit user investigates a location like this one, Polter Karen is a good one. I like it a lot. I'm going to use it in my next uh, Karen video. A user by the name of Danny Ramirez uploaded the video that you will see below on TikTok. The video in question begins in a rather ordinary manner as we witness Danny filming some forests that are located nearby. On the hey, these pillows are a, a, a decent 16 inches, but I got a big butt knee, one for each cheek. On the other hand, in just a few that. That's a lot better, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Left cheek, right cheek. Moments, we are going to learn the reason why Daniel was so enthralled with the woods on that particular evening. Raise the volume and give it a listen before proceeding. Shout out to everybody in here who proclaimed they've seen actual UFO sightings. I've seen one myself. Our uploader is understandably more than a little bit freaked out by the sounds that can be heard emanating from the neighboring woods which are exceedingly loud and frightening and seem like they are being made by a Bigfoot. There is, of course, no way to know for certain whether or not these noises were in 50 11 times is a fact or something much less ominous. Some people suggest it could perhaps be wolves. In either case, it provokes thought, and that much is certain. Hey, y'all, we got a total of 84 new channel members tonight. In Bailey Canterbury and was published on YouTube on September 16th, 2008, and has been fascinating viewers ever since. My tushy is nice and comfy. The video at first seems to be completely normal. Bailey is shown recording the area he is in, Ford Theater in Berea, Kentucky. I don't want my, 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 um, my plushies to stink, so I'm gonna get another pillow. At around 6.30 to 7 p.m. We watch as he pans the camera across the stunning green trees when out of nowhere, this appears. Where the hell did that thing go? That is scared, dude. What the f*** is that thing? Do you see it? I hear the bushes moving. What the hell is that thing, man? 
I don't even remember, remember this pillow. pillow. Yeah. Where'd it go? It's behind those bushes, man. Look. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, my <clears throat> God. What is that thing, man? The plushies feel better. This this pillow is flat as heck. I don't even think it recognizes, man. Calm down. Be quiet. Yo, this pillow's so flat. Oh. I'll be okay. That's that's gorilla. What in the fuck is that thing? That's a gorilla. Babe, what? That gotta be, man. Whatever it is, it's too small to be a Bigfoot. Cause I've never seen footage captured this close, and it be that small. It can chase you down right now. It's so close. Dude, we gotta get out of here. Hold on, man. I don't think it doesn't even notice we're here. That thing like it's about four feet tall. Is that thing, man? Like a man in a bad gorilla suit. Filmed with a freaking potato. They filmed this with a potato. Mm -hmm. Zoomed in, we got no detail. A large, tall, and hairy creature can be seen walking across the screen, which has obviously got many people speculating that Bailey managed to capture authentic video footage of Bigfoot's existence. One believer said, You can tell by the arms that this is not likely a human. Arms are very long, which is a key characteristic of a Sasquatch. Although I'm not 100% sure, it looks fairly legit. The emotions of the guy seem natural as well. Thought-provoking video clips to say the least. Of course, there are always other theories out there, but the Bigfoot one here is definitely the most widely believed among those who've seen the video. And it's not hard to see why, considering just how similar the creature in this video looks. What do you think this entity is? Do you think that Bailey Bro, that's the same Bigfoot actually recorded video proof of Bigfoot's existence, or is this something else altogether? Be sure to let me know your thoughts. Hey, a hundred hundred expedition said they bought the costume. This big this this person and uh this person oh we missed it. <laughs> How'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Whatever. But the, both of them bought Most that costume in the same place. Major 530. They bought it at the same Bigfoot store. And it has been the topic of discussion online for the past two weeks now. Where you can also buy Bigfoot footprint fossils. In the description of the post, Ink Major provides us with a nice write-up that gives us all some much-needed context. They write, quote, On the evening of September 2nd, 2023, my friend and her husband witnessed two illuminated objects moving quickly throughout the sky. They said the first one moved so fast they couldn't get their phone out in time, but they were able... The first one moved so fast they couldn't get their phone out in time. More like their potato. Do you see this? I, I should be able to read what this says. I can't even see it. ...to so catch the second one. Oh my God. It's turning around. Potato. Look at that. Look at that potato. Look at. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. My initial thought was perhaps they were racing drones as a buzzing can be heard. Oh, you can hear buzzing. Man, racing drones are so dope. Racing drones could, oh man, they do stuff that you would think they would dang on UFOs for real. In the background, but after talking with them in greater detail about what they witnessed, they said the objects were silent and that the noise was from the neighbor's kid riding his dirt bike. The noise doesn't match up with the speed or thrust of the object, so perhaps it could be something else. If anybody can enhance or do an analysis, it would be welcomed. Object appears to be at least 400 plus feet above and both illuminated a radiant white to a very light blue." End quote. A lot of people in the comment section are absolutely fascinated by the video footage, with many believing that the footage is 100% authentic and shows a legitimate UFO. Do you believe that this video is authentic or not? Be sure to tell me your answer and why in the comments below.
I think it's potato. It might be an authentic potato. A woman potato. named Laura Combs posted this video to her TikTok account where she writes a description that gives a little bit of context. Bro, everybody on TikTok got a big following. You notice that? Dating, quote, I woke up to my dogs jumping on me to see outside, end quote. Confused, Laura then decides to pull out her cell phone to start recording because something that she heard was genuinely starting to freak her out. Take a listen for yourself. Go to that window, you better go with a, a pew pew. You knocking on my window like that? I remember when I freaking stayed on the bottom floor when I lived with my mom and my friends would come knock on my window like this. That junk used to piss me off, bro. Take the lemon. Look down, fool. Look down. Look left, look right. You're only looking one way. She reacted so quick we couldn't even see what she was looking at. The dog's still looking outside. After the third knock is when Laura said she got incredibly scared. And who can blame her? It's definitely quite odd that all of these knocking noises were heard and yet nobody was there. Who could possibly have been knocking? Nobody knows. She had like she saw something when she panned back in the house. I ain't seen nothing. And to make things worse, at the end of the video, a voice can be heard that truly startled Laura. Laura says that she is currently in contact with somebody to come and bless the house and surrounding area. Let's just all hope that does enough to ward off whatever strange visitor she's getting. A Reddit user says that he was simply trying to take some nice photographs inside of a field on a cold autumn day. All was going well. The man took the photos and proceeded to go on with the rest of his day. However, it wasn't until later on when he actually stopped to look through the photos and truly analyze them that he realized that he may have taken a genuinely terrifying picture. Look at this. What is that? Creepy! Among the normal looking photos, one of them stands out immensely. In it, what appears to be an extraordinarily tiny person can be seen walking across the field in a strange manner. The upload also states that he has no idea who or what this could possibly be, but agrees that it definitely looks to be some sort of tiny person. It is quite an eerie photograph. Next time this Reddit user goes outside to do a mini photo shoot, he certainly is going to be on edge. The following piece of footage may be one of the oldest scary videos that you can find on YouTube, published to the platform by a user named Momaru0062 on July 17, 2007. In the video, which was filmed in the Malaysian state of Sabah, we watch blurry footage of a group of guys hanging out in the middle of the night. Nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. However, in just a moment, we are about to see the true nature of this bone-chilling video. Let's take a look. <laughs> Durang ni, buring, bula, 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 bula. Siapa tahu ni? Aisyipar. 
Uringa. Ako pun kahit matingin, ako matingin ako yun. Ay si Boy mana? Dalam. Si Dur. Si Dur pelong si Boy ni. Uringa. Apa? Uring, uring. Kalau macam ni. Wah, lama. Masuk, 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 masuk. Masuk sian, no, 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 no. Masuk no. Irilek wah. Eh, masuk dulu. Asta, mau majar. Bro. That also looks like a freaking AC unit back there or something. Like, I don't know. Something. It, it's like a big white pipe or something. It's supposed to be a girl with a white dress on. It's so potato. This thing was filmed with a potato. I can't even. It's so potato. I can't even be scared. I can't even see it. <laughs> Asta bukan 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 cali ni bukan bukan cali masuk dulu bukan 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 cali ni. Hana hana man. In real life, they can't even see it. Bukan cali, cakap mula dulu, cakap mula dulu. That's how bad the camera is. It messes up your real eyes. Took forever to respond. To react. Out of nowhere, the boy starts to freak out upon noticing that there is something weird hanging around them. They believe it is a Pontianak, a mythological creature or ghost in Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore. But strangely, even though the ghost seems to lurk around in the background for the entirety of the video, the boys only notice the alleged Pontianak about a minute into the video. The Puntianak, also sometimes referred to as Kuntilanak, usually takes the form of a pregnant woman who is unable to give birth to a child and is described as a long-haired woman dressed in white. What do you think? Was this simply a hoax? Or did these boys actually manage to capture authentic footage of the Puntianak? Or was this something else entirely? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. A user named Trains Lord posted the following clip to the ghost subreddit. The uploader explains that he and his friend recorded this video a couple of years ago while they were high and never really looked at it afterward. He says that he was randomly scrolling through his photos and videos on his phone very recently and decided that he would finally watch the footage. What he saw terrified him. Looks familiar. Looks very familiar. Yeah, see? Yeah. Y'all, we only need two more likes to hit our goal for a thousand likes. <laughs> the continuum of time. <laughs> Did you see it? If you look just carefully enough, at around the nine second mark, a terrifying figure can be seen peeking at the camera from behind the door. Who exactly could this be? Sadly, since the figure is only shown very briefly, it's quite difficult to make any clear features out. Let's just hope that these two friends aren't living in a house with an uninvited guest. I don't even remember that that was what was in that clip. A man on TikTok known as Win McPigs posted the following video to his account in which he strongly advises his viewers that they should never answer to knocking noises. Let's show you exactly why. Fit the lemon. So I don't know if you're gonna see what I'm seeing. Hey, comment in the chat how many times we've seen this crap. But <laughs> this is on repeat. This happens over and over. And then the knocking happens, the knocking. There it is, and it just goes and goes until you talk stop. Can you stop, please? I mean, it's just right there. The knocking noises that Win McPigs are hearing get increasingly louder by the second, causing him to ask the potential spirit to please stop. But of course, this doesn't work. But it's this part of the video that's scariest. That's new. Okay.
whatever you are, you got to go. And that's... Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. Is Winnie McPig stealing with some sort of shadow person? It's entirely possible. No, honey, pineapple. I promise you, I got these for you guys. <laughs> I would have never got them if y'all didn't ask for. <laughs> she says, she, she says, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm enjoying it way more than I thought it would. The honey pineapple says, I'm beginning to think AOK -okay got the plushie for himself. No, but you know what? I'm going to sleep with this one tonight based on the video we just watched and it seems as if a lot of other commenters think so as well however there's also the possibility that this was just a visual effect what do you think he's dealing with be sure to let me know your theories in the comment section down below i think he's dealing with video editing skills <laughs> Cause I, that this what he next does? video coming to us from a youtube channel known as i'm pretty sure that's what he does oh posted on February 16th, 2008, is certainly quite the shaky and blurry video to say the least, but it's still quite an unsettling piece of footage to watch. Thank y'all for the thousand likes and to everybody that's on the website copping some merch, some plushies, I'm gonna shout you guys out at the end of the live stream. You might have to come back to, to see the live stream at a later time to catch the end, cause we in here for another two hours, baby. It harbors a dark secret and shows something eerie. Take a look. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 1.3 megapixel. Uh, 1.3. Yeah. Queen, sir, queen. Queen, sir. Bruh. You know what they filmed this with? Queen, sir. Bruh, what's back there? It's so potato. I can't even see it. It's so, the camera is so slow too. I'm surprised it has audio. Don, what you talking about? Use the other ones. What you talking about? Okay, bro. Bruh, again, the camera quality is so bad. These fools can't even see what's behind them with their own two eyes. Hey, Old Hendrix. At one point towards the end of the video, something odd appears behind the men. While it isn't definitive, most people who watch this video seem to believe that a... Man, I don't know what to believe, because this fool just stared at it, and then he just turned his head back like it was nothing there. Pokong appears behind the men. Pokong is a Javanese ghost that is said to be the soul of a dead person trapped in their shroud. Known in Indonesian as a kind kafan, the shroud is the prescribed length of cloth used in Muslim burials to wrap the body of the dead person. Oh yeah, y'all look. They have zippers on them. Where you can pull out the stuffing and wash it and then restuff it and then zip it back up. or put more stuff in in there. The dead body is covered in white fabric tied over the head, under the feet, and on the neck. Man, the dude stared at it and he had no reaction to it. According to traditional beliefs, the soul of a dead person will stay on the earth for 40 days after the death. If the ties over the shroud are not released after 40 days, the body is said to jump out of the grave to warn people that the soul needs to be released. Once the ties are released, the soul will leave the earth permanently. Because of how traditional Indonesian burial shrouds look, Pokong have earned the nickname Candy Ghosts in the West. What do you think about this weird video? Do you think that these men really had an encounter with a Pokong, or did something else entirely different happen here? Shit, I know that's right. Neon Ninja says... 1080p or 4K only, please. I know that's right. 
Las Vegas, Nevada is known to be extremely hot, busy, and full of casinos and clubs no matter where you look. It's one of the most popular tourist places in the world for a reason. But if you're planning on going to Vegas anytime soon, you may want to think twice about visiting Sapphire Club, as the following videos will surely give you goosebumps. The videos in question were filmed on December 3rd, 2022, and seemed to showcase something utterly terrifying outside. I remember this, yo. This was epic. Take a look. December 2022, man. This was... This clip went viral of what appears to be a UFO in the sky right over this casino in Vegas. And I believe it. I believe it. It's real. It's a real UFO. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that. It's huge. It's huge. It's massive. It can't be anything else. Look, even the lights from the casino, when they hit it, it reflects. Right there, you see that reflection? Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, aliens! Alien! What the hell is this? It's an alien! Honestly. Honestly, this is... This is why we're about to find out this year the truth about our extraterrestrial friends. The government can't hide it no more. The aliens want to come out and let it be known that they are here. I got classified information I can't share with y'all. Wait, I just did. I'm playing. I mean, we're here every night. I've never seen anything like this. It's reflecting off of it. The light right there. I saw it again. It's big. I'm so excited. There seems to be some sort of strange UFO Take me with you. floating around the sky over the club, causing many to be confused and panicked. An article published by The Hill has thankfully put some people's fears at ease, however. A meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Las Vegas told KLAS that since the lights in the clouds did not appear to move and the temperature in the clouds was cold enough, there's a good chance what people saw this night was a phenomenon known as light pillars. If this is indeed the case, we can all relax knowing that that ain't no light pillars. You saw that reflection? Why would this light be reflecting off of that light pillar? No, I don't believe it. Vegas is safe from otherworldly visitors. However, this only serves as a possible explanation, as even the experts aren't completely sure. Uh-huh. See, they don't even know for sure. But I do. No, I'm playing. I don't. I really don't. This TikTok user named Win McPix. Hey, look, it's Win McPix again. Posted a video to his account back on June 1st. So you know what we're about to see. Some cat! 23 in which he walks viewers around his house, which certainly seems to be quite haunted. Take a look at the footage and see all the strange activity that is going on around the house. This way he first went viral, viral. Go light in. It's okay. Light the way he was talking to this ghost. He... Stay. Like they were best friends. Been doing this all morning and I don't have time for this today. Stop. Hey buddy, we, I don't, I got too much going on. You gotta cut it out. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just gonna set it up. Paper towels. He talked to the ghost stuff. like it was his child. He said, hey buddy, I got too much good going on right now. You gotta cut it out. Like a spirit gone dang on. Listen to that mess. I asked you, you gotta go or you gotta go downstairs or something. Wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. Just holy cow. Little buddy. 
When the brightness of the video is enhanced, a bizarre shadow figure can be seen throughout the footage multiple different times. Here are a few examples of this happening. Don't worry, Sunrise. No, I definitely want to stay here on planet Earth, but I, I would like to meet the aliens, you know, you know, from a distance. I ain't trying to shake hands or nothing like that because, you know, cross paths, germs, what's it called? Cross contamination? No, nah, we both going to die. Buddy. Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. You in here? What's up, girl? No, I'm playing. Yeah, um, I've seen the pyramid upside down. Yep. So it's kind of difficult to dive deep into it as a result. Even still, though, the footage is quite unnerving, and it makes you think. What would you do if you discovered that your house may be haunted? In this YouTube video posted by a channel known as Rock Line Do Not Cross, on June 16th, 2012, a group of friends are driving around late at night in France, just trying to enjoy their night when they see something utterly startling. The footage initially appears to be relatively normal in nature, but that all changes within the blink of an eye. Take a look at the footage and see for yourself. Yeah, Super sac sous chrono, oh le trottoir <rire> Ça, ça marche Ça, Alors... c'est de la puissance Et on va, on va le perdre Mec, c'est quoi ça Quoi Où Quoi Mais c'est quoi ça C'est quoi Oh putain, oh, Arthur bah, Fais le détour Fais le détour, t'es malade Hey, serious question. Do y'all believe the aliens are our allies or enemies? Do y'all think they gonna come here and F us up? Or do they have our best interest at heart? Comment in the chat. I wanna see it. Somebody said, Jill said, we halfway through the live. That's right. That's crazy too. We've been in here forever. As they drive down the road in the middle of the night, they see a woman wearing a white dress standing on the road which causes them to get extremely scared and they then panic. They then decide to turn the car around a moment later to see if the woman needs help, presumably. But when they turn around, they discover that the woman is no longer there and has seemingly vanished. This mess got some super strong ginger in it. Man, it kicks my butt every time. Ugh, right there. Or was it a hoax? To this day, this odd mystery has not been solved and it's probably never going to be solved either. Sometimes the most terrifying things happen when we least expect them. This next video comes to us from a TikTok account known as Metaphysical Show, and it starts off with a man explaining that he has a piece of alleged paranormal footage that he describes as the creepiest he has ever seen in his life. He says that it happened in the woods that surrounds him, and he explains a bit of what happened to the video. The video in question might just prove that we aren't as alone as we would like to think we are in this world. Take a look. Paradigm normal? Enhanced video or just zoom in? This thing looks like he's wearing pants, but I could be wrong. Rick Rick says when I, I asked the question, do y'all think the aliens are gonna 
um, be our allies or be our enemies. Rick says, I, I think they probably think that we're slightly more advanced than ants. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That was a great one. That was good. Hold on. Somebody else says, at least with aliens, we don't have to sell our souls to be... Look, no. That might actually be what why the Illuminati is a thing, man. Maybe the aliens have in infiltrated the Illuminati a long time ago. That's why there's the sacrifices and soul selling and all that stuff. Um, I would hope they would, but how messed up our government is look i know that's right i know that's right uh nora says neither we are trailer park we are the trailer park of the galaxy facts facts as far as i'm concerned <laughs> some people says enemies for sure in a blink and you'll miss it moment in the distance a creepy apparition can be seen walking around in the forest at a casual pace before it ultimately disappears from view entirely. Serenity this is a video that has been creeping people out ever since it got posted, but nobody has been able to properly explain what exactly is going on in the footage and whether or not it is authentic. What do you think? Do you think that this video showcases genuine paranormal activity happening in the middle of broad daylight? Or do you think that something else is at play here? This first video that comes to us today starts off with a chilling bang. The video in question was posted to TikTok by a user named Monikita Official on January 20th of this year and is terrifying. At the start of the video, a woman can be seen panicking and moving around, seemingly getting scared of something that's outside. The videographer then moves a bit closer to the window and passes the camera to the panicked woman. She films outside, and it's right then and there that we finally see what's scaring the woman so badly. Take a look. Way far off in the distance, a pair of glowing red... Hey, the thing is, the little boy didn't sound convincing enough, though. The, the little boy was like, Donde, 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 donde. He sounded like he was told to say that. Eyes can be seen staring at the TikTok user, while she continuously screams in panic and fear before the video eventually ends abruptly, leaving us all to wonder what happened to this woman and her family afterward, and whether or not she called anyone for help. It's unclear as to what was staring back at this family with those terrifying red eyes. But it's definitely creepy, and I can only hope that she at least called the police to get them to come out there and investigate the area. That is, if the clip isn't a hoax. Yo, Let hold me know on. what you guys think. Hold on, y'all are too funny. I'm looking at comments in the chat. Somebody was like, man, the aliens probably fly by and they got their kids and they tell their kids, hey, don't look, don't, don't, don't look at them too long. Oh man, yeah, hey, y'all are stupid. That had me thinking. That had me thinking. Aliens probably tell their kids the same thing that um, people of different nationalities tell their kids about other races. <laughs> like I know Spanish culture. A lot of times they be telling the women, the girls, they tell them not to date black dudes for a multitude of reasons. Uh, aliens probably tell their kids the same thing. Like, hey, you don't want to deal with those humans. <laughs> they will make you fat. <laughs> Especially the American ones. This next video is a YouTube short that comes to us from the channel known as These Dark Adventures and was published to her channel on October 25th of 2022. The video is quite eerie, even though it is relatively short. Take a look and just wait to see what happens. Oh, that looks demonic.
It's a demon over there, man. Horns and everything. Looks kind of cool at the same time. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. In the description of the video, D provides a little bit more context to the whole thing by writing, quote, a man was checking on his bees when he noticed this strange creature at the edge of his property and started recording it, then sent it to me by email, end quote. Other than that brief write-up, this video is relatively shrouded in mystery and nobody has been able to tell whether or not it's real or fake. And it's an all black demon. If it is real, what exactly was going on in the video? What was this creature, and what did it want to do? Some believe it to be the mythical goat man, due to its very clear horns. The goat man is often purported to roam the woods of Prince George's County, Maryland. There's also the famous Pope Lick monster, which is described as a goat man living underneath a railroad trestle bridge in Louisville, Kentucky. Many also believe it to simply be a person in a costume, but what do you think? Let's just hope that this man is doing okay now and hasn't had any additional visits from whatever this thing is. The person who posted this video on Reddit surely caused a lot of commenters to go wild when it comes to speculating what exactly it was that this unknown videographer managed to capture while on an airplane. One of my favorite clips of a potential UAP on the internet. Like, what was this? The freak was that? In the description of the post, the uploader writes, quote, I'm surprised I haven't seen this video on here yet, but then again, this was just shared recently on Twitter. Do not know the original source, but it's getting a lot of attention and for good reason. In the 20 second clip, you can see this thing pass by very, very close to the pilot. It's shiny metallic with an oval slash triangular shape. Another thing that I noticed is the pilot seems to already be noticing and trying to capture another UAP, aka unidentified aerial phenomena. In the very beginning of the video, you can see a small black dot almost moving. Whatever that thing is, it doesn't look like it should be in the air. It looks like a potato. It looked like it looked like it's this shape in a weird way, and it's just flying in the sky. It it shouldn't be. It makes no sense. I didn't see a wing. I didn't see any type of. Oh man! As the camera tries to autofocus, he loses it, but keeps filming. Hey, That's Chris, this is is uh. A paranormal kind of night. Mr. Ballin is the next live stream. When the main UAP flies by the pilot. So yeah, two UAP, I believe. End quote. This video is definitely the kind that is sure to get the internet in a huge debate over what exactly is happening in the video. Does this video help prove the point that aliens exist and that they are visiting our planet? Or is this something easily explainable, such as a balloon? I'll let you decide. This next video comes to us from a TikTok account known as Voided One, and is one of the most unsettling and heart-stopping videos that you will see in quite a long time, guaranteed. A woman named Odette Morales is riding around in the irrigation river channels in their local town to relax and cool off on a hot summer day along with her friends. 
I hate it, that this video has been posted so many times that the quality has changed into a potato. In the video, we can hear a crowd of fellow riders screaming with joy while riding the smooth but exciting ride. But as you will soon see, this fun boating trip soon turns into an absolute nightmare in broad daylight. Odette's ride through the water is going well when all of a sudden we can see what looks to be a man swimming or floating closer and closer to Odette's boat ride before she eventually ends the video, more than likely so startled by what she just saw that she had to stop filming. It is worth noting that about five years prior to this video's upload date, a man allegedly died in this exact same canal as a result of drowning, so it begs the question. Is this the spirit of the man coming back to haunt, or maybe just to warn off other potential riders? It looks like that may be the case. A Reddit user by the name of Light Surgery posted this truly creepy video online that has sparked quite the debate across the internet amongst a ton of passionate paranormal aficionados. To provide just a little bit of context, the uploader wrote, quote, I just moved to a 1800s Victorian terrace house in London. The house is opposite back on to a cemetery. I just got a motion alert on my doorbell video and it had captured something that looks a bit strange to me." End quote. Very interesting. Now let's have a look and watch the video to see if we notice anything bizarre. Who's that peeking around in the corner? Ooh, peeking, peekaboo. And he was checking to see if there was a camera. And then he spotted the camera. He was like, never mind, I can't, I can't rob this The place. upload continues writing, saying, quote, It looks to me like a figure peering around the side of the house and then walking off, past the neighbor's car and onto the street but it looks like a shadow rather than a person. Can anyone here suggest what this could be, if anything? A lot of people in the comment section of the post cannot help but express just how freaked out they were after watching the footage, with one Reddit user writing, quote, I haven't seen something that creepy since you first see the alien in the movie Signs when it walks past the alley at the children's birthday party, end quote. I'm sure many of us were traumatized by that scene. This video is a couple of months old at this point, and it doesn't look as though the mystery has been solved. And like it or not, it probably never will be. A TikTok user named Dark Side of Kyle published the following two videos to his account and have been the subject of tons of discussion in the paranormal community online. In the first video, Kyle explains that he was moving into his new house supposedly alone, but then this happened. As you can see, some lights begin to flicker inside of Kyle's brand new house, and just a moment later, a door can be seen closing seemingly all by itself. When Kyle opens the door to investigate, he finds absolutely nothing. What they ask is going on. Things are going crazy now. In the 
second video, Kyle is filming from behind this doll, which can clearly be seen rattling around all by itself, which doll, understandably man. freaks out the uploader. Ugh. When he goes to investigate, he sees a hanging doll. What could possibly be going on inside Kyle's new house? Either way, it definitely seems like moving into this place was a big mistake. I hate it. Not that he's to blame, because who can anticipate that the house you're about to move into is haunted? Let's hope Kyle can find a new place to live as soon as possible, or at the least find a way to live peacefully with these ghosts. This video was published to the highly popular High Strangeness subreddit. I, I agree, Trippy. Staged. Staged. They put that doll there on purpose. It's essentially one big collection of all sorts of photos, videos, and stories relating to the paranormal, UFOs, ancient cultures, cryptozoology, anomalies, and other strange things. The footage shows the uploader filming the sky above him late at night. That's all perfectly fine, right? Well, it turns out that he's not filming the sky just randomly. He is filming what he believes are UFOs. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Ooh, pretty UFO. This is what is this? This is crazy. Yo, them lights moving quick. Yeah, what do y'all think this is? I wonder if anyone else sees it. Do y'all think these are UAP, UAPs, UFOs, extraterrestrials? <laughs> or do y'all think they're drones? I feel like it'd be hard to find a drone in the clouds like that because it'd be hard to keep up with them. Look at that. Look at that. Come on now. Come on. Clear by watching the video that the uploader is freaked out by it and fascinated by it at the same time. Sadly, not much else is known about this particular video other than the fact that it was filmed in Delaware. Also, seeing as how this video is just a couple of days old at the time of uploading this video, there hasn't been any sort of explanation given to it yet. What do you guys think is going on here? Do you think that this video shows authentic proof of the existence of UFOs and therefore aliens? If not, what do you think these strange lights are? Be sure to let me know your theories in the comments below. Alien! That's what I think. The bathroom is designed as a haven for personal care. Ooh, nice bathroom. Fostering a sense of safety and comfort, its enclosed space offers a retreat from the outside world, allowing for relaxation and rejuvenation. I think. The bathroom's functional layout, slip-resistant surfaces, and safety features like grab bars aim to prevent accidents ensuring a secure environment. However, as you're about to see, not every bathroom is as peaceful and relaxing as what we would collectively like to think. As this TikTok user named Lee Rito found out the hard way. It's clear that the uploader was just trying to go to the bathroom when out of nowhere, he then got joined by a vicious unseen presence. Take a look. I see Gemini Queen. Watch the show, baby. Hey, hey, if you if you got me playing on your TV right now. Pick up your phone, comment in the chat that you're watching on your TV. No te voy a tener miedo. Watch it, watch it. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Throughout the duration of the video, we watch as the door handle to the bathroom wiggles around intensely, causing the man to fear for his own life. Thankfully, no harm was done to the man, 
and he was presumably fine after he stopped filming. But there's no telling just how much emotional damage was done to him when this incident occurred. Think about this video next time you go to the bathroom. Unfortunately, this next video from TikTok user DaddyGeo6969 doesn't really have any sort of context provided with it, so it's difficult to grasp exactly what the lead-up to the video is. What we do know, though, is that the TikTok user went out to an abandoned farmhouse and was presumably trying to document his experiences inside, but something managed to scare him off before he even set foot near the property. In the video, we see him zooming in on something inside the farmhouse, something that startles him rather quickly. Take a look. Yo, what the f is that? What the f is that? That's a what creepy. What the f is that? Whatever it is, it's too big to be in that house. It makes no sense at all. It's, it's a quarter of the size of this dang on house. <laughs> in the window in the distance, we can see what appears to be some sort of massive shadow figure moving around in the farmhouse, much to the shock and awe of the uploader, who can only stand in place and talk out loud in fear. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe to the gaming channel. My friends and I are about to start posting gaming content. Um, it's, we're going to be playing games together. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Thankfully, it seems as though this was enough to cause him to leave the area as soon as possible. I haven't posted a video to the gaming channel in two years, I think. Yeah, the last video I posted was two years ago. That's crazy. Because who knows what kind of horrors awaited him inside. Jim Hammer posted the following video to his Facebook profile, hoping that some of his friends would be able to help him explain what exactly it was he heard one day while out in the forest. In the video, Jim is walking around a patio, simply trying to make the most out of a nice autumn day when suddenly he hears some strange noises that chill his blood. Have a listen. like a siren the noises seem to occur every few seconds but can be heard remarkably loud a lot of commenters don't seem too convinced that this was some sort of strange animal but rather bigfoot of course, it's impossible to know if it's Bigfoot for sure because we don't ever see anything in the video, we only hear things. But it's definitely a creepy thought that shouldn't be ruled out. This next piece of footage is another one that comes to us from the aforementioned High Strangeness subreddit and is a doorbell camera video. So two of the games I'm going to be playing are like these paranormal games. It's like one of them is a new game. I can't remember the name of it. But the other one is um, Party Animals. Party Animals I'm really excited to play. I can't wait to play with my friends. This video doesn't show anybody walking up to the door and acting bizarrely, but instead something happening up in the sky. Take a look. Oh, yo, I love this clip too. When well, you got the ring doorbell has captured a UFO sighting in the sky. Or UAP, obviously. But what could this be? What could this be? Could that be three lanterns? Oh, somebody, hold on.
The video, which was filmed somewhere in England, shows what appears to be some sort of triangle-shaped UFO flying around the area in the middle of the night before the video cuts off shortly after. Thankfully though, the video is long enough for us to get a decently good look at this creepy UFO, or whatever the heck it is. For those of you who don't believe in alien life, what do you think this strange light formation is? Imagine you are outside. Melissa says she wants my shirt. I'm sorry, Melissa. I don't, I don't, there's only a few of these left on the website. Just a few of the I Wish a Karen Wood shirts. Just a few of them. Very select sizes. But I do have a new design coming that I know you're going to love. Um, I've been getting um, compliments. I've been wearing the, the um, not prototype, but the sample around town and people be like, oh man, I love that. Literally, I was walking out of Walmart yesterday and the dude was like, yo, that's dope. The new Karen design is going to be fire. Some of my channel members have seen it already. If y'all saw the channel member live stream, go to my channel. It's 84 new channel members in here. Y'all should be able to go to my, my channel and look at the channel members live stream only and y'all be able to see the new Karen design and the new Aliens Are Real hoodies. And you're walking up to your house, about to go inside and relax for the remainder of the day. It's something all of us do on a daily basis with no fear involved. Facts. Sadly though, this woman is never going to do this routine the same way ever again after what happened to her in this video. In the footage, we see her walking up to her front door, about to go inside with her baby. The woman successfully enters her home, but just a few moments later, this absolute creep walks right up to her front door and does this. You're trying to run up on her. He was too slow. He was too slow. Look at him. He's too far back right now. He should know that he needs to be moving in a lot quicker. Stupid. I'm glad he's stupid, though, because he didn't succeed in his little evil plan. Stupid. I don't like evil people, man. I don't look, look at the baby. I wish the baby knew what was going on to tell mom, hey, mom, look, there's a guy. Yo, the fact that she sat there and she's so lucky. She's over there. Get in the house, woman. Why are you over there trying to fix your baby clothes out? Get your ass to help. She lucky he extra stupid and slow. Oh, she lucky he's stupid and slow. Look at him. Look at him. He was like, darn it, I messed up. This was my one opportunity. Stupid. Get out of here. Did she notice something? Like, did she hear the doorknob being twisted and whatnot? Thankfully, the homeowner locked the door after she had entered her home, or else who knows what kind of awful things could have happened to the She had to hear it. Woman. She had she had to hear him turn that doorknob. Baby. This video will truly make you wonder just how safe you are out there in the world. It proves to us all that we are never 100% safe, even on our own front doorstep. We all know that kids can be absolutely adorable, especially our own, but sometimes they can be downright terrifying without having any intention of it, such as the case here. In this first video in a series of TikTok videos, this young kid seems to be having fun playing around in his room. The dad who uploaded the video to his account says that he heard the youngster whispering five minutes prior to this. The dad then asks the boy what he's doing, and it turns out he's drawing a picture on a chalkboard. But it's not just any ordinary picture. In fact, it's quite bone chilling to say the least. Take a look. Elliot, what are you doing? Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? Oh, why have you drawn that? It's the hangman. Oh, really? Yeah. What does he do? Does he know it's not designed? Why? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. 
When the dad asks why he drew that, the kid alludes to the fact that there is a hanging ghost somewhere in his room. In the second video, the kid once again talks about the fact that there is a hanging ghost in his room, much to the bewilderment and horror of his father, who has no idea what is going on. Demonologist. Demonologist is the uh, other game I'm going to be playing. Think about that. Demonologist. Oh, oh, get ready for the jump scares. They're coming like crazy. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, really? FTL in the chat if it's your first time live with your boy. I'm crying. Y'all, we got close to 1,200 likes. I like it. I like it. We still got an hour and a half. Keep hitting that like button for your boy. Does he cry quite a lot? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, the Viking. 50 11 times. 50 11 times. This one right here. Okay. Thank you. This is a best scary videos of 2023 so of course we're gonna come across a few that we've seen he says he put his son to bed and then not long later this happens the viking said we've seen this clip so many times this kid's a teenager now <laughs> facts James with a ten dollar dumb note. Thank you, big baby. Again, thank you to everybody that's cop some merch, cop some plushies on the website. I'm gonna be shouting you guys out at the end of the live stream. We got another hour and a half. What's going on here? Does this kid simply have a very interesting imaginary friend, or is there really a hanging ghost in this room that he's friends with? Let's hope it's the former. This next video, published by a strangely titled TikTok user known as Stuck in a Fake Reality, is one of the most bizarre videos I've seen in a really long time, and is sure to give you the chills. In the video, the uploader standing around by their front door, all while we can repeatedly hear a bunch of banging noises that don't seem to be going away anytime soon. While this is happening, you can also hear a woman's voice from the door, Asking the uploader to let her in. Have a listen. No, it's not. Don't answer it. You've been in there for so long. You've been in there for so long. Ooh. Can you hear you? Come on now. Don't answer it. Pissar, I'm doing great. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't answer the door. James. James, it's your mother. No, it's not. Then what's your name then? What's extremely creepy about <laughs> this is the fact that this woman. He said, Well, then what's your name then? No answer. It's voice is allegedly identical to the uploader's mom's. But that's just it. That's not their mom. As soon as the uploader gets close to the door, strange screaming noises can- Yes, Andrea, you know I will not make that mistake again. Best believe, baby. Perhaps this TikTok user is dealing with a skinwalker. Gotta love Jordan, thank you so much for the $5 don't know, big baby. It's actually a skinwalker, or could this possibly be something much less sinister? These next three videos are all coming from a TikTok user named Skateboard Chris, who seems to be going through quite the ordeal with the paranormal. Each video documents some truly scary things, so let's dive right into the first clip. At the start of the first video, he explains that a day before, he and this skateboard Chris problem right here, the Ouija board. His cousin pulled out a Ouija board and started messing around with it. Of course, as I'm sure you can imagine, that turned out to be a gigantic mistake. At first, 
all seems to be okay with Chris, but then things start to pick up from there. Listen to the bizarre noises that soon follow whenever Chris sets up his camera to record. Yes, you guys, please, 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 please don't type in all caps in the chat. It makes it makes people think you're angry about something. <laughs> or it's the text form of yelling. <laughs> Don't yell at us in the chat, please. James Worthy with the ten dollar dono, no, thank you, baby. If I didn't already thank you, I'm I'm confused. <laughs> You can hear that, can't you? I can. Sound like tapping. Everybody's like, oh, it's the hutch. It's the hutch. <laughs> Something that's also quite interesting to note is that one commenter wrote that he heard the words get out about eight seconds after Chris said that he heard tapping noises. Listen closely. And obviously, a tripod falls over all by itself at some point. In the second video, Chris explains that he was moseying around the kitchen because he couldn't get to sleep, so he decided that he would clean some dishes so he could have something to do. But as he's about to find out, he can't even seem to do that in peace. Welcome, twin. New channel member, baby. He also explains that a little bit before this happened, he also heard the shower in his house running downstairs for an unspecified amount of time. Whatever this ghost is, it definitely seems to like water for some odd reason. Back. The third and final video that we'll be looking at today from Skateboard Chris was seemingly filmed very late at night. At the start of the footage, we can see Chris talking to his dogs. He said he had the camera up because he was going to do a live stream, but ultimately decided not to as he was too tired. However, it's not too long later in which something very bizarre happens. That chair is teeter tottering, man.
The rest of the footage shows Chris trying to figure out what to do, obviously quite scared and worried. To this day, it's unclear as to what exactly Chris is dealing with, but it definitely seems quite serious. Was this really all the result of him and his cousin playing around with that Ouija board? If so, Chris is probably going to regret that decision for the rest of his life. This next video comes to us from a Reddit user who, in this video, is simply walking around outside in Picket Post, Arizona, together with their dad and sister, trying to enjoy their day and get some fresh air when they accidentally captured something genuinely terrifying on camera. The video was captured on January 22nd. What initially starts out as a normal walk around in nature quickly turns into something rather unnerving as it becomes clear that this Reddit user may not be so alone out in this area. Take a look. Oh, it's in the sky. Yeah, okay. I have to pick it up then. Oh shit! It's gone! Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that was fast. That thing took off fast. UFO maybe? UAP, you know. It may be hard to see, but if you look just close enough, you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of strange UFO type object floating around up in the sky above. In fact, if you stabilize the footage, it would appear that there are actually two of them. The Reddit user provided the following description of the event. Quote, my sister, dad, and I were out hiking near Picket Post when one of us noticed something glimmering near the mountain, so we stopped to look at it. All I could really make out is that it was a small bright dot in the sky. It then dropped two flare-looking things, though my sister swears she counted at least three, and then it instantly sped off. Up until that point, I thought it might have been a helicopter or a drone, as there's a lot of military-slash-air force base stuff out here. But there's no effing way anything can. Hey, to the Andersons, are y'all actually twins or y'all playing? Y'all pulling our legs? Y'all actually twins? Twin Anderson and and and, and Shiny Anderson, y'all actually twins? Don't be capping on the internet. Accelerate that fast. End quote. Are y'all just saying that because y'all got the same last name? Of course, as with any video such as this one, nobody can be a hundred percent certain about what this is but it is definitely something that shouldn't be outright brushed off without any further investigation. Video's what could laggy. these weird floating objects possibly be if not something alien? Is there a perfectly mundane explanation to it? Let me know your theories in the comments below. A TikTok username Foul Midden Outdoors posted a video to his account on November 6th, 2023 in which he's seen sitting in the middle of a forest and talking to the camera about a strange noise that he's hearing. Man, my man's right here is lucky. He says that he was out in the forest in order to hunt some deer to provide some food for his family. All was going quite well until he heard the noise in question, which freaked him out quite a bit, and for good reason. Have a listen. Hey guys. Well, I'm about a mile from the gifting rock right now. Starting to get dusk. It's about 35 degrees out. And I want you to listen to what I'm listening to out here. I want you to hear this. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can hear a little better. Just a minute. Oh, snap. They're actual twins. They're identical twins born a minute apart. Y'all, we got twin channel members in the building. That's, that's awesome. Like I said, I'm quite a long ways away from the gifting rock. So why are we hearing that out here? A mile away. I love a lot it. of people in the comments seem to think that this is the horrifying noise of Bigfoot screaming. Sadly, we never once get to see exactly what is making that terrifyingly shrill sound. 
but it definitely doesn't sound like any human or animal we know. So what do you guys think? Is it possible that this guy was in the forest with Bigfoot himself? If that's the case, why was Bigfoot making such a horrible noise? Was he in pain or was something else going on? Be sure to let me know all of your theories in the comments below. Imagine you're going on a bicycle ride late at night, simply trying to enjoy your time when all of a sudden, you come across something that utterly chills you to the core. That's exactly what happened to this TikTok user named Jose Maria Rios Castillo in June of 2022. In the footage, we can see Jose riding his bike late at night when all seems to be going perfectly smoothly. However, that all changes rather quickly when he stumbles upon something quite unsettling. I didn't know what clip I was looking at. Yeah, I seen that before. The music got me though. That Did jump scare, it? freaking jump scare music. To the left, a spooky figure can be seen standing off to the side. At this, Jose simply continues to pedal on his bicycle instead of hopping off to do some further investigating. This is probably for the best because who knows what kind of horrible things could have happened to him otherwise. Although it definitely gets you thinking. What in the world was that and what did it want? Be sure to leave any theories you have in the comments below. The following Reddit video was filmed at an undisclosed forest located in Honobia, Oklahoma. The footage in question shows someone walking around in the forest in the middle of the day with seemingly nothing out of the ordinary. However, if you look closely, you should be able to see something quite odd in the forest. A massive, tall and lanky creature can be seen lurking around the forest as the videographer proceeds to pan the camera around the forest slowly but surely. Unfortunately, because the creature is extremely shrouded in trees, we cannot ever get a totally clear view of the creature throughout the entire duration of the video, but we do get the occasional glimpse. Ever since this video's upload, many people seem to be convinced that the video in question shows proof of the existence of Bigfoot, and it definitely seems to fit the description, but how can we be certain? Sadly, we can't, but we can be believers if we choose to be. So do you believe that this video shows Bigfoot walking around in a forest in Oklahoma? Or is this something else entirely? I'll let you decide. That was a little foot. A Reddit user by the name of EasyBiscuit19 was simply going out for a nice evening stroll something that a lot of us like to do. There's just something different about the cold night air as opposed to walking in the afternoon. However, as this video goes to show, sometimes walking outside in the middle of the night can bring about some stuff that's utterly unexplainable. In the video, the uploader can be seen wandering around outside when out of nowhere, he makes quite the shocking discovery that he cannot seem to get an explanation to. Let's watch. That's the motherboard right there. Wait a minute. Kind of like people walking in the sky. Yep, definitely look like some things walking in the sky. The incident, which happened at around 1 a.m. in East London, depicts several strange floating lights above the area, much to the shock and awe of the uploader. The lights definitely look to be alien in nature, but then again, anything is possible. 
maybe it was just something else entirely different. However, the uploader is specifically asking for people's help on this case, hoping to get a definitive answer. So if you think you know what's going on... And See how the lights are crossing paths, though? Look at that. They're crossing one another. Like they're walking past each other. Accuser recorded the video that you are about to watch on October 10th, 2020 at 1010. The video in question shows the uploader recording outside his car window as the driver passes by various different buildings. The man filming the video can be heard being audibly freaked out about what he's looking at. But for a long while, we cannot see what it is. But if you look closely here, you can sort of make it out. What? I, I can see it clearly with my eyes, but I can't see it on the freaking camera. Did he not see that light? Ooh, what is that? A potato. Oh, it looks like someone walking. Ooh, what is that? It looks like someone walking. It looks like someone walking. It looks like someone's walk. Is that a person running around in the sky? It's just like a white dot to me. It sure looks like it. And that's exactly what the man filming the video thought it looked like as well. But surely that can't be, right? The uploader said that he initially thought it was just an extremely weird looking helicopter. But the longer he looked at it, he realized that it certainly wasn't any kind of helicopter. So it begs the question, what exactly did this TikToker managed to capture on camera that night. A white dot. Is this proof that humanoids exist? It's quite a fascinating video to say the least. This next video comes to us from a TikTok user known as XAlien97, who says that he works in security at this construction site. He says that these reels are extremely heavy to the point where you basically have to be unrealistically strong to move it. He says that a construction worker needed help at which point another worker came to his assistance. The worker then proceeds to guide the other worker on where to move the reel to. When it was all done, he went around the reel to show his gratitude to want the other worker. But when he walked around to the other side of the reel, the worker was mysteriously gone. A bit later, in the office of the construction site, the worker who noticed the other one was Melissa. New channel man was present in a memorial collage in the office. It turned out that the man who helped the construction worker had been dead since 2015. This incident was captured on video here. Take a look. Yes, we have seen him before. 50 11 times before. On the expedition said 50 11 times 50 11. That's 122. <laughs> My math is all the way wrong. Nice, Tasha. I got more content coming for you while you're resting What in would bed. you do if you found out that a co-worker of yours who just helped you turned out to have been dead for the past eight years? I don't know about you, but if that happened to me, I would be utterly convinced that I got transported all the way to the Twilight Zone. This series of videos were made by a user known as Elijah Matthews 101 and seems to document him wandering around in the middle of this forest in the middle of the night, which brings about some unforeseen consequences. At one point in the video, he can be seen walking around the forest trying to explore the area to the best of his ability. For the first little while, it doesn't seem as if he is going to find anything of interest, but that all changes rather quickly. Take a look. It's 12.45. Bell's going off crazy.
all of those screams you're hearing are animals. I know they are animals. What's wrong with the animals? They being chased? They're being eaten alive? <laughs> In this second video, Elijah is making his way through the woods where it's just him surrounded by the all-encompassing darkness of the night. It's just Elijah and his flashlight versus the world. Unfortunately for him, he soon finds himself in for the scare for a lifetime. <clears throat> My guy is no predator. He needs to get the heck up out them woods before he becomes prey. This last video sees Elijah stumbling across a tunnel in the woods, and he decides to make a bold decision to venture inside, which proves to be an absolutely gigantic mistake. Take a look at what happens when Elijah ventures in. Ms. Lee, look, I be cracking myself up making faces, man. I do it. I be making faces by myself all the time. But I find in the woods at night time. So instead, I'm just going to throw something in there, like a stick. But I find in the woods at night time. So instead, I'm just going to throw something in there, like a stick. He finds the tunnel where he thinks the creature lives, and you can hear growl from inside, but he doesn't notice it himself. Then he hears the bells again, which doesn't make sense because he's deep in the woods, and there aren't any buildings near where he was. Fun fact, that tunnel went for about 8 meters and then it just stopped, and I was walking home right now, reviewing the footage to see if I caught anything that I didn't quite see in the first, uh, first time I caught the footage. Listen. Bells. There are no bell towers around me. Again, this happens all the time. I don't understand what it is. And this, at this point, I actually want to know. I'm desperate to find out what that is. Bell tower. No bell tower around here. There's literally nothing around here. What do you think was going on in these videos? Did Elijah come across some sort of cult-like activity? Is the forest he entered perhaps haunted? Be sure to let me know your theories in the comments below. For whatever reason, hospitals give a lot of us the creeps. They are supposed to be places of comfort where patients go to get better, and by the time you leave, you are supposed to feel yourself again. But plenty of people find hospitals to be extremely eerie and uncomfortable. The following video by TikTok user gives even more reason to be scared. The video in question follows a group of people as they make their way through this allegedly haunted ER. Throughout the video, we get a good look at the hospital, which looks to be in quite excellent shape. Wait a minute. This hospital looks familiar. This hospital is actually haunted. But what makes it so incredibly eerie is just how empty it all is. However, at around the 50 second mark, this happens. Be careful. There's a reason why this sector or this wing of the hospital is closed off. It's haunted. Oh. It's Watch out. There's even a scary looking doll on the left side. Yeah, it's just a little doll. Just a little doll. Nope. Not me. Put it here. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. oh, that's freaky. 
It should grab you. Is she cold or is she freaking out? One of the two. A few minutes later, they are seen walking inside of a room which appears to be dark and grungy. If only they knew what was going to happen next. Creepiness. I don't like that. Watch it. It's right there. It's going to get you. It's right there. Yeah, it did. It moved. It moved. It moved. It tell you. It tell you. It's haunted. It's haunted. Do not. Oh, okay. Run. Ooh. Run. Never go back. That curtain closed on him, man. That's crazy. The curtain moved. Yeah, it did. It moved. It moved. It moved. Yes, it did. How do you not see that? Oh, okay. Out of nowhere, the curtain in the room seems to move all on its own and then a pen is thrown. To this day, nobody is exactly certain as to what was going on in this hospital that day. But the uploader states that he believes it could have been the ghost of a child who passed inside the room. Do you think this sounds like a plausible explanation for this situation? Whichever way you look at it, this video provides even more proof that hospitals are some of the creepiest places on earth. Hunting the Unknown is a very popular YouTube channel that focuses primarily on abandoned building exploration and paranormal investigation related content. It's safe to say that this video, which was published to that channel on February 12th, 2023, is one of their most unnerving works to this day. Their other films, in general, have a sinister tone to them. The video in question shows the proprietor of the channel as he enters an abandoned and haunted house in the middle of the night, all by himself, which makes the situation ten times worse. The investigation begins in a rather routine manner as we observe the uploader moving around inside of the residence, which has clearly seen better days. Our uploader had to make his way through a place that appears to be in complete disrepair, which more than likely had to be more than a little unpleasant to walk through. And I'm talking from experience. When this does Hey, hold on, y'all. We gotta do something right quick. We gotta do something. We're at the three hour mark of this video. Some of y'all have been sitting on your behinds for as long as I have. Right now, everybody stand up. Time to get up. We gotta stretch a little bit. Time to get up. Stretch your butt cheeks out a little bit. Uh get your arms moving. Get them in a circular motion. Come on. Ah, I just hit my freaking computer monitor. Ah! Ah, stand up, get up. I need to stand up for a second, stretch out. I gotta repuff my repuff my pillow. Ah, flat pillow. Ah, got to stand up for a second, y'all. Got to stand up. It's not good to be sitting down on your butt for too dang long. You gotta stand up every once in a while. You gotta get up. You gotta exercise, wiggle your butt. I just did that. Y'all didn't see it. Now we're back. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Much better. It's occurred. So Carry on. the 11 minute mark, true panic begins to set in. No, I have not. Never even heard of him. Deshaun says she cooking, so she good. She she doing all the standing she needed. Oh, what the? Oh, hell! Oh my God! What the? The uploader's electromagnetic field suddenly sparks, and shortly after that. A wheelchair is observed going about all by itself for some reason. Then, yes, uh, Miss Anderson, you're welcome. 
Gotta get up, stretch a little bit, y'all. After waiting a few more minutes, he hears this when he's exploring a different part of the house. I needed that too. It felt great. Trash completely. Hello? Might want to get out, my guy. Something's in there with you. Run. Run. You ain't ran yet. Yeah, that's why you need to run. There is a little break of roughly two minutes before yet another eerie thing happens. Have a listen. No 4 RX7 <laughs> says my son got the Nope Not Me shirt for Christmas. Now it's his favorite shirt. I was literally just thinking, I haven't worn the Nope Not Me shirt in a minute. I think somebody stole my shirt. My personal shirt? Because I only get one of each of these shirts. I think somebody stole mine. I haven't seen it. Now I got to buy myself another one. Gosh. is that it's possible to hear the spirit box say ghost and then one second later it's possible to see a cloaked figure within a room. However, the uploader did not witness this at the time that the tape was being made. He seems to catch a glimpse of a figure out of the corner of his eye, but by the time he turns around, the person is no longer there. What exactly do you believe was happening inside of this really eerie house? Somebody said, why well, I thought he was a burglar. <laughs> was there truly a ghost there? Was this man is over here recording his 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 crimes the whole thing really an elaborate hoax oh, there's sad. no way for us to know for certain this that highly is... unnerving video was published to the popular high strangeness subreddit which essentially specializes in hosting videos of some genuinely strange things caught on camera the video in question was filmed on May 7th, 2020 at 10.30 p.m. and shows something rather fascinating yet unsettling. Take a good look at the water and just wait for it. A submerged object can be shown shooting straight out of the ocean in this video from Encinitas, California. Tons of people who have watched this video have been left totally baffled by it. What is this strange object that was in the video and how did it fly right out of the ocean? There are a lot of confused internet browsers out there who have since been trying their best to make sense of this extremely weird piece of footage. But it seems as if nobody is quite sure how to piece this whole thing together. One commenter says that this could be a military drone launched from a part that was released from a submarine. Another person said it could be a submarine launched cruise missile. But this is just speculative. Most people seem to believe it to be something more unexplainable. It's likely that it's going to stay a mystery for a good long while. This final video is absolutely guaranteed to make you scratch your head in bewilderment and fascination. Take a look at the footage and see if you can make out what you're looking at. Yo, what the freak? Look at that alien! The video's 
Man, for Alien to be walking around this casual, wherever they're from, they must have an atmosphere similar to ours. Because this thing walking around like he don't have no problem breathing our air. I feel like if I was an alien, I'd be like, it's pollution. <laughs> the poster shows a tall gray alien walking away in a very... Hey, y'all, we got 1,300 likes. Again, shout out to everybody that's been copping the new plushies. We got them, Bell. Wait, hold on. Where's the other one? Where's my big face? Seriously, what happened? What happened to my other plushie? Anyway, they're on the website right now, artofkicks.com. I lost the other one. I'm not sitting on it, I promise. Slow manner as the cameraman freaks out, swearing. There are sounds of a helicopter lurking somewhere above. You can see the eyes and shape of the alien's face and even its arms as it walks away. I have attached the original and enhanced versions side by side, followed by close-ups. The uploader says that he came across this particular video in a random zipped folder from a UFO website. He says that he doesn't remember whether or not the website was ufoevidence.org or ufocasebook.com. Do you think that this video is authentic and shows proof that aliens exist in plain sight? Aliens don't need clothes, man. They all look the same now, man. Aliens are probably humans that have advanced past freaking genitals. <laughs> Or, or like, you know, they got, they look like the same sex. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. They all look the same. The following eerie video was uploaded to TikTok by a user by the name of Alexios. In the video, Alexios claimed to show the reason why he left his apartment. The video begins in a very typical manner, with the uploader focusing his camera on an object in his home that is located quite a distance away. Everything seems to be in order until the camera moves in as close as it can get, at which point we realize why Alexios is so afraid. Take a peek. Oh, that's creepy. That's real creepy. This video is making no sense at all. What the heck is going on? It looks like a hand has a tight grip on the doorknob without moving at all. And while the camera zooms in, there appears to be two glowing eyes at the top. But what does any of this mean? There are a number of people in the comments area of this video who are similarly puzzled. And because of this, I am interested to hear if you have any hypotheses or thoughts. If you do, please be sure to mention it in the comments below. Although this next piece of footage is quite blurry, it's nevertheless an utterly bone-chilling clip that will give you the chills. The video was filmed all the way back in October of 2012. Before we get into the person who uploaded the video to YouTube giving some much-needed context, let's first have a look at the video to see if we notice anything unsettling right off the bat. Yo. Now for the context. The uploader writes, quote, This creepy real ghost tape was sent to us by an anonymous paranormal investigator who claims to have procured it from a young backpacker on holiday in Europe who caught this ghost on video when visiting a castle. The apparition does appear to be very distinct, but we are unsure of the location and unable to research any claims of supernatural activity in the area. It sure looks haunted to us though. A perfect place for a Ouija board session to raise a demon or invoke some scary paranormal activity." End quote. So what do you think? Do you believe that this eerie video actually shows ghostly activity happening, or do you think that this is something much Less sinister. Be sure to let me know. Fuck. 
a woman named Cassandra Joy uploaded this video to her TikTok account, which is filled with tons of creepy events. The video starts off with her explaining that she heard some strange knocking noises at her garden gate at 3 o'clock in the morning. Whereas most people would probably ignore it out of sheer fear, Cassandra gets out of her room and goes to investigate the noise. When she looks outside of her window, this is what she sees. Maybe it's the wind. Or not. You see the gate opening and closing? She says there's literally no wind out there. Just the cat. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's coming for you. <laughs> Hello, them banging. Out of nowhere, as soon as she grabs her flashlight so she can see the outside of her yard better, an extremely loud knocking noise can be heard coming from her front door, as well as a creepy voice whispering hello, causing Cassandra to audibly gasp before the video abruptly shuts off. So what do you think could possibly be going on here? Is this poor innocent woman a victim of stalking? By the looks of it, all signs unfortunately point to the answer being yes. That is, if we're assuming this isn't staged. In the description of the post, Cassandra says that the police wouldn't help her, sadly, so let's just hope that she is eventually able to get the peace that she needs and deserves. This TikTok user named Ben Vesti is about to enter this eerie abandoned building in the middle of broad daylight. It looks to be in extremely rough shape, and it certainly looks quite creepy. Ben is probably wanting to enter the house to explore the area, and see if he can spot anything out of the ordinary. Perhaps he wants to bump into some paranormal entities. Well, if he does, then he doesn't even need to go inside to see one, because little did he know, he already filmed one way before he even stepped one foot inside the creepy house. Take a look. That's right, y'all. We're also live on Twitch where the stream is extra crispy. Yo, that movement was it like he gl it was gliding across the floor. Look at that. What the freak? As Ben passed the camera across the house from the outside, a terrifying ghostly apparition can be seen moving around in the house. Ben did not notice this at the time of the recording. Well, it was fast too. When Ben goes inside to investigate the house, he doesn't come across anything weird. He probably went home that day disappointed that he didn't get any good footage, but he certainly had the scare of his life when he reviewed the clip later on. This next video was published to YouTube on November 5th, 2011 by user known as Sokka 1001 a In the opening of the video, he provides us with some context by writing the following, quote, It was late on the night of February 12th, 2011. I was home alone with my friend. We were outside playing basketball on ice when we heard a screech about 500 yards away. It kept getting closer. We glanced at each other, wondering what the heck that was. 
After about 30 seconds, about 100 yards in the distance, we could make out a very large, dark object walking towards us. We sprinted into my house, began to lock all the doors, and I picked up my iPhone to take a video of the screech the animal was making. But I got a little more than I expected." End quote. So with that out of the way, let's take a look and see what it was that the YouTuber was able to record. Now oh, that caps off a crazy adventure. Ben, did you? Oh. Did you end up? He's coming in the house. Hee hoo! Ah! 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 I don't even know what I'm looking at. Mr. Potato. This is 2011. They had better cameras than that back then. I had better cameras than that back then. What is they? Why are they filming with a potato? Mm. Oh, you know what? I'm sleeping on this tonight. You know what? This is pretty comfortable. The uploader then says that he understandably did not stay at his house that night and left. He then says he returned back home the next morning, and this is what he found. A dog-like creature peeking its nose out. Now I'm going to see what it would have to stand on and how tall it would have to be. This is my height. There's the window. There's nothing it could have stood on. No, well, that's weird. There's scratches on there. Well, anyways, it could have had a couple layers like this on these steps. But it would have to be about a foot taller than me in order for its head to peek out. Stating that the dog man would be believe it or not, seven foot tall on his hind legs. According to the uploader, there have been other sightings of a similar creature in the woods by his house. A hunter on his property heard similar screeches a couple of days prior to this incident. After emergency, this is Kyle speaking. How can I help you? Hi. Hello? Something just ran in front of us on the road. We're in the ditch. We, we rolled over. How many people are in the car, and is anyone injured? There's two of us. I, I, think, I don't think we have any injuries. Is the car on its top or wheels or what? No, it's kind of sitting on its side. Hold one moment, please, while I contact emergency services. Okay. <laughs> okay, the state police should be on their way in a few minutes. Is everyone still okay? Yeah, I think we're okay. What ran in front of you? A deer? I, I don't know what the hell it was, but it was big. It looked like a great big dog. Uh, standing up. Was it a bear, maybe? Maybe. I, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sir? Hello? Are you still there? How the phone hang up, but the dispatch are still on. It has been suggested that this could either be a dog man or a werewolf caught on camera, which would make this video even more terrifying. What do you think could be going on here? Is this video completely authentic or could it be a hoax? Be sure to leave all of your ideas and theories in the comment section down below. Matthew Ball posted the following piece of footage to his YouTube account on March 4th, 2007 and was taken on a train that was going from Adelaide to Jacobs Creek in the middle of a nice sunny day. From what I could find on the internet, the location of this video seems to be somewhere in South Australia. In the video, we can see the outdoor scenery looking green and beautiful, but in just a second, 
be about to be subjected to another sight, and it's anything but beautiful. Let's look. Did you see it? If you look carefully, you can make out what appears to be a strange, ghostly apparition walking across the train tracks before the video abruptly ends. Yeah. Sadly, the video itself doesn't have much context provided to it. That's a ghost in the daytime. So we don't know certain details that would surely help to figure out whether or not this is real or fake. However, thanks to the comment section, some people have provided some more information. Quote, the Christine says that's fake. And she left the $20 don't know. That's the area of the Barossa train line near Roland Flat is notoriously haunted due to a train derailment in the late 1800s. There have been many stories of ghostly people crossing the tracks and causing further derailments. This could very well be one of the ghosts that haunts the train line. End quote. Another commenter said, quote, I love this. My ancestors, great-grandparents times five, lived in this exact area over 150 years ago and are buried at the Roland Flat Cemetery. My husband and I went looking for their old house in Steingarten Road, Roland Flat, in 2009, and we found the house of the brothers my relatives married all that time ago. And the person who was living in this house said the Schwarzkopf house on the other side of the dirt road was haunted and told us not to go in there. This is real." End quote. With that eerie backstory, it's no surprise many people believe this area to be haunted. And it makes the ghost sighting seen in this video all the more believable. One, one thing that I appreciate about all of these, um, these compilation channels is whenever something shows up that's supposed to be the thing that we're supposed to focus on they always show it over and over and over and over again they'll zoom in they'll enhance the footage you know so that we can get a clear understanding of what it is that we potentially saw so is it real or fake either way it's undeniably creepy This TikTok user posted a video to his account saying that he was exploring Cabo San Lucas and managed to capture Ooh, I like this. something on camera that is quite unsettling to say the least. Take a look at the video and see what you can make out of this. The Mexican Sasquatch, huh? Yo, this man's in a cave. Is that a Mexican Sasquatch or is that just a Mexican? Because <laughs> he ain't hairy like a Sasquatch. And maybe he's not even big either. He's just in the cave. That, was, that used to be a bear cave, but he scared the bears away. I would say he's homeless, but he has a home. A strange man can be seen coming out of a cave in the distance, staring off into nowhere for a while before he eventually recedes back into the cave that he came from at the start. The man in question appears to be quite tall and lanky while also being quite hairy. The uploader of this video is convinced that he managed to record videographic evidence of the existence of a Mexican Sasquatch. Do you think that the TikTok user managed to capture exactly that, or was this just some incredibly bizarre man living in a cave? Either way, it's definitely pretty strange. A YouTuber named Leo Tree posted the following video to his channel all the way back on May 15th, 2008. It may be quite a pixelated video, 
but it's heart-poundingly scary nonetheless. The footage in question shows a group of men wandering around a cave and filming their findings. When they first enter the cave at around the 25 second mark, nothing of note happens and it stays that way for a little while. The cave itself is quite eerie, but that's it. However, things start to change near the two and a half minute mark, when the group of friends begin to hear some strange noises followed by something genuinely unthinkable. Have a listen and have a look. Cioè, raga, però non c'è nel cazzo. Raga, porco di... Ah, dico io, sto sempre fa certa pressione. Sì, infatti, ma poi... Lugubre. Un po'? Lugubre. Lugubre. Ok, ok, raga, c'è un po' da vedere. Porco di questo suono. No. No, no, aspetta, aspetta, aspetta. Aspetta, cazzo, sta bene. Bruh, I ain't seen nothing in like five minutes. First, the men hear some truly scary noises coming from somewhere nearby, but before they get a proper chance to dart their way out of there, a ghostly face can be seen. It's then that the men do- That's what we saw? Bruh, that's the most potato 99 face I've ever seen in my life. Everything in their power to get out of the cave. The video then abruptly ends, meaning that we do not really know what happened to the men after the video ended. Let's just hope that these men are holding up okay all these years later and are not still being haunted by this strange ghost. A Reddit user named BourbonLover88 posted the following clip online and said, quote, My trail camera caught a figure moving left to right in this video. More contacts and photos in comments. End quote. Let I remember this clip, so it's gonna be an alien. Let's take a look at the video first and see what we can make out. Whatever this is, walking left to right is is tall, like over ten feet tall. By watching the video, we can tell that there is definitely something going on here, but it's hot. I know good and well there were scarier clips in 2023 than most of what we've been seeing tonight. I'm not gonna lie to you. To tell exactly what. A comment from the user states, quote, I hunt atop an abandoned coal mine that was in operation from the 1890s through the late 1940s. At different points throughout the mine's history, Cave-ins, explosions, and other unfortunate incidents have killed dozens of men, many of whom still reside in the cave, as their bodies were in locations too dangerous for rescue. They simply sealed off those portions of the mine with cement and kept going. Crisscrossed across this property is old mining roads, one of which can be seen in the video. The figure seems to slow down when crossing the old road, and then speed up again afterwards. I don't believe this is something on the lenses as the figure moves behind the trees on the left side of the road and in front of the trees on the right. I also can make out what looks to be legs underneath the figure in certain positions of the video. So the freakiest part is this. I've placed a photo in this comment of my buddy, who is 5'9", in a similar spot as where the figure crosses the road. Comparing the two, 
the figure looks to be about 10 feet tall. End quote. In addition, Bourbon Lover 88 stated that he believes this incident to be the result of a ghost. Told you it was a 10 foot tall thing. But he also wants to hear everyone else's thoughts. Here are two comparison shots one taken during the day and the other while strolling Thank through. Thank you, Trinity Star. Woods. For the kind words. It is astounding to say the least that the uploader believes the spectral figure to be almost 10 feet tall as well. This is the stuff of nightmares. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill uploaded a video on January 20th, 2023, in which he ventured out to an extremely creepy abandoned school where he had quite a number of scares happen throughout the night. As he makes his way through the building, which is incredibly quiet and run down, he eventually hears some rather unnerving sounds and starts to see stuff that obviously freaks him out. What is that? Oh shit. Shout out to the twins for dropping the five dollar dono. Much love to you. Appreciate your support. Big bird. Oh, well, something didn't say. Hey, he ain't the only one there. Somebody else doing the ghost hunt investigation in there. Guy Miller, you couldn't be more correct. It done got real black up in there and quiet. As you can see, another person with a flashlight appears out of nowhere, only to then walk by Chris, who's understandably hiding. You can never know a stranger's intentions in a place like that. About 10 minutes or so later, Chris is recording himself walking into what appears to be the school's bathroom, and it's then which he gets a genuinely terrifying fright. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. Fuck. It didn't get me that time. Said somebody's in there. I still don't understand how the next thing that happens happens. Watch. Go back, Urbex. Go back. Go back inside, Urbex Hill. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Watch what happens. Oh, how? Toy. How? How did it fall over like that? And then it paused. Oh, it said, God, and then the it fell over. How? The second time he walks into the bathroom, he finds out that it's just a toy, as he refers to it. But the fact that the figure suddenly drops to the floor the moment he looks at it is honestly really strange. He is then shown walking down this long corridor when he begins to hear something strange coming from above. It's not even a full minute later that Chris gets yet another scare coming his way. Safe is still here. Wonder what's in it. Oh shit.
It was all a dream. It is truly unexplainable how that personal shadow could disappear right in front of Chris's eyes. Afterwards, it was nowhere to be seen either. But just as he's getting ready to call it a day, it seems as though whatever creepy spirits or entities are lurking inside of the school decided to give Chris one last scare for good measure. This is crazy. Now he gonna run up out of there, boy. It clearly sounded like someone was running down the stairs, but as you can see, there was no one there. Although Chris is clearly an experienced explorer, let's just hope for his own safety that he doesn't venture back to this creepy school for any further investigations. Alexis, technically, it would be a sleepover. <laughs> a Reddit user named Blonde in the Woods shared this absolutely chilling video to the Paranormal Encounters subreddit. It's easily one of the most eerie videos you'll see in a while. Hey y'all, if you fall asleep during my live stream, then that means we had a sleepover. Mm. My husband's best friend used to live in the house in the video. He caught some crazy orb ring camera videos and always felt something was in the house. He ended up getting a divorce and sold the house. A couple of months after the new owners moved in, an old neighbor got a hold of my- It's officially been four hours! We have been in here for four freaking hours. <laughs> you know the worst part? The worst part is I'm in the live stream right here. We still got another 30 minutes left to this video. And we going to stop right here. We're going to end the live stream right here. Yep. Because you got to be crazy. I said four hours. I ain't say five hours. If we keep going, it's going to be five hours. So we're going to stop it right here. <laughs> Let me do these shout outs for everybody that was copping. Plushies and other merchandise on the website. To Shell. Shout out to you. Thank you. Hold on. How do I say this name? Oh, oh Sherry. Duh. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the support. To Kisha. Pretty said. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Shout out to you, Mark. Thank you so much. Jordan, appreciate you. Lachelle, shout out to you. Christine, shout out to you. Tara, shout out to you. Paula, thank you so much. Christina, shout out to you. Michelle, shout out to you. Thank you so much. John, I appreciate you for the support. T Wait, hold on. We had two different Taras in here. Sum Summers and Henderson. Shout out to both of y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support, for the orders. There's going to be some more orders, I'm sure, to come in after the live stream is over. Don't worry. I'll be shouting you guys out. In the next show. But we're going to end it right here. I told y'all four hours. I didn't say I was going to complete the video, though. That's crazy. Look, I'm trying to, my booty cheeks hurting. This pillow ain't as good as the plushies. So I'm about to let it go. Let it go. Time to go. And plus, I got to get up tomorrow and um, finish editing a, 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 a very long video for you guys. It's over, it's over an hour long. And then I got to hit the road and drive out of town and then drive right back late that evening tomorrow evening it's gonna it's not gonna be fun but we're gonna do it but anyway hope y'all enjoyed the four hour long live stream as much as i did we had fun tonight didn't we we had a great time in here this evening y'all be safe have a great night and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace good night everybody we had a part Hey.
<laughs> Said it was just getting good. And my butt is just getting sore. And sore and sore by the moment. Look. It was all a dream. And we out. Peace.